cool technology here as well. Yeah, show us some cool technology. Yeah. Yep. yep. So yeah, you're looking great on camera. Let me. Just I'm always say. looking great on camera. <laughs> Humble brag. Oh Humble yeah, yeah. <laughs> not just a pretty face. Let uh, you get away with anything. Kate, call me. You know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we can get started. Here All right. Uh, I'm Jesse from the Digital Acid here with. Uh, hey, I'm Sebastian, and I'm also from the Digital Acid, and uh, we got a very special guest on our very first uh, The Digital Acid podcast, Simon Chedebur. Chedebur. Yes. Chedebur. Chedebur. So, uh, Looks good on a business card. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we're fresh out of OC5, which is, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with what that is, that's Oculus Connect 5. And uh, it's Facebook's virtual reality event, and they had some big stuff to announce. Um, which was the, you know. Oh my God, the, the new Quest. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of the Quest, but it's uh, Oculus's latest offering. Um, it includes uh, a lot of new features that they really think it is going to change the VR landscape. I mean, that sounds really like lame, but honestly, it's pretty cool to have full body tracking, right? So you can move your arms and legs. Um, and wow. uh, what else? What else? Yeah, it has inside out tracking. It's the computers built into the headset. Yeah. Um, it's 400 bucks. Which is fucking really cheap. Which is amazing. Cheap, which is cheap. And uh, the display is pretty much like Rift. It doesn't have the, the, the um, screen door effect as much, or at least I didn't see. Um, man, it's 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 a it's a little badass. But, yeah, um, there's plenty to say about about the the quest and you know Oculus Five and all. But honestly, what's our, more important. What's more important? What more interesting? <laughs> we're sure is our guest. That's right. And yeah. so he's here all the way from New Zealand. And um, I don't know how much of an intro I can give, but I can say that this man has done some amazing photogrammetry, um, volumetric video. I I, I met him. Uh, Maybe a little bit over a year ago. What do you we, think? we met in style. Oh, we yeah. Did. Yeah. How did you guys meet? I'm really curious. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna re renege, renege a bit. Uh, how, how, how did we meet? It was um, through. Well, well, we LinkedIn we, uh, initially. You I know, yeah, LinkedIn yeah, yeah, yeah. is yeah. a good space to meet, and um, you know, uh, we we're both kind of uh, interested in some similar spaces. This uh, the space that we're we're we're, we're broadcasting from is. Uh, <laughs> was a, 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 a virtual reality space and now yeah. it's a blockchain space and it's a starfish. There's a lot of weird synergy going on so right there. So this is actually yeah. the, you know, it's XYZ the next zero, time zero, we zero. person yeah. and we had a legendary night. I won't really, you know, jump no, too much no, into it. No, but, no, we, um, we lost a few things and gained a few. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what, you know, what, what's on your mind a little bit? Maybe actually, you know what, let's, let's, for the people who are not aware about photogrammetry and volumetric video, like yeah. just break it down in a layman's terms for someone who yeah. doesn't even know what it is. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's the best way to really say what we're in the business of doing is encapsulating reality. Mm. Um, wow. We actually recently bookmarked uh, the website actualreality.io. That's right. Which we mm -hmm. thought was pretty cool. Uh, okay. So it's an education initiative, but you know, yeah, right. Did, did you watch that video? We, we watched that video. Yeah, the actual yeah. reality video. I know. I saw yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Someone sent it to me recently. I'm like, oh, this is too was, funny. That was so I'm so good. glad you liked that. Yeah. Yeah. So if you haven't yeah. seen this video, it's it's a viral video that has this guy having, has his uh, uh, VR headset, but it's, uh, yeah, it has it's, just, the lenses. it's just cut out. It's cut out so it's you can out. see right through it. Yeah, and it's, he's running around touching plants and going, woo. And, you know, he's getting so all, that, real. all that haptic feedback from <laughs> yeah. the trees that he's touching and, it's a it's it's, it's an, a really immersive yeah, experience yeah, if you haven't yeah. checked it out. It's pretty cool. Actual reality. Actual reality. Um, so yeah, but we, what is yeah, this? Because so, this is beyond that, right? This is well, beyond actual reality. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, 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 we're using actual reality as the, as the blueprint. Right. Um, so yeah, encapsulating real world spaces and places mm. and faces, um, yeah. which is pretty cool. Uh, going to places that, quite frankly, people do not have access to in the real world for whatever reason. Um, you know, the exclusivity of it is. Um, is kind of um, a catalyst in itself. Uh, so, it's the technologies we used or that we've invented while doing this. We obviously haven't reinvented the wheel. We're still, you know, predominantly using Unreal Engine, 
mm. uh, you know, capturing reality for the point cloud um, acquisition. So, so yeah, basically to get to layman terms there, it's yeah. the ability of taking thousands and thousands of photographs uh, from different angles, making sure you don't get any occlusion, mm. which basically means you, you need to map out your environment really well. You need to know what you're taking photos of. And then you're throwing all those photos into the computer and your, your computer with your four Titan V's um, and uh, V100s. Thank you, NVIDIA. I love you. Mm. Um, they've Special been very kind out. to us. Yeah, yeah, man. Like <laughs> a few, you know, 20, 30K worth of graphics cards have just been throwing us like wow. yeah, fucking hotcakes. Uh, um, I've been seeing your builds yeah, on, on yeah, Facebook yeah. and I'm like, you know, you're sweating. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy, man. It's like we're working out of a small little lounge in Wellington. Uh, you know, with these supercomputers just uh, sipping red wine and smoking cigarettes out the window uh, next to like $100,000 builds, uh, which is pretty nutty, but we'd like to keep it real. But we'd well, like to keep well, it bohemian. Okay, so let's, yeah. let's, let's pull it back a bit. Let's pull back a yeah. bit. And, okay. and you come from music, and that's yeah. what really yeah. I thought yeah. was really cool about it. I love the fact that, you know, you, you started in a, in, in a band. Yeah. Well, <laughs> come you, on, you give us a about, Yeah, well, let's talk about how we got yeah. it. Let's, 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 rock star. let's talk beginning. about how we got into it. Like, <laughs> okay, that's, that yeah. is the yeah. crazy, crazy thing. Um, so yeah, and I've always been into music, did digital composition years and years ago, uh, Bachelor of Recording Arts, uh, did a bit of radio DJing and uh, voiceover work as well. Nice. 106.7, call FM. <laughs> kind of, yeah, you know, as I would. Wow, well practiced. <laughs> Laura Jean's Coffee. Nice. And, you know, and kind of this kind of cheesy Hello. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Tune um, in. Um, but yeah, like always music, always art. As I like to say, when art meets science. And so mm. that's been my thing, you know, did fine arts, uh, every kind of medium you could imagine kind of jump from one medium to another even done some natural language home automation setups using you know back in 2008 that quite frankly was before Siri or any of that you know uh, my daughter believed we actually had a real human called Brian that you know so I built this machine yeah. and she was she grew up with it and his name was Brian and he used like uh, natural language to talk to him and he will talk back in um, Ivona text to speech wow uh, really good British sounding voice really? <laughs> and so I'll be like hey Brian uh, what's the new Big Bang the whole thing was just this mashup of technologies so this is like an early Jarvis from Iron Man right? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's the punk because rock I, I, Iron Man I, I, I built this because I was <laughs> from New Zealand and I wanted one so everything that's been done has always been like out of personal necessity yeah um, you know <laughs> Well, there's something is the mother of all invention, you know. Necessity is the mother of all invention. Mm, so, right. Thomas Edison. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, that was cool. And so you, so you, did, and you did some touring, right? With yeah, yeah, band yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, most of it, you'd laugh. Most of it was actually in my bedroom, but everyone thought we were a real band. <laughs> it was actually just me doing very nine inch nails. Oh, so you so were the, I the was, one man I, I band. I was composing all the different instruments, and everyone was convinced that it was a real band. And so I'd be on these radio shows, and I'd be asking when we're next touring and all this. And so then I thought, fuck it, I've been doing this for 10 years in my bedroom. Let's, get, <laughs> let's make a real band. And so I taught myself how to play drums and sing at the same time. Oh man, Phil, yeah. Phil, Phil Collins style. Awesome. Um, nice. So we did that for a little while. We didn't really do many big gigs. It was definitely better composed on the computer than it was in real life. I um, can feel it but, yeah. see that's so bad. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. I just feel the gorilla like every time you guys say that. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah. So that was that. You know, life was interesting, good. Yeah. And Raise, so how does it, how does well, a musician yeah. jump into how does it, how, how does sick it shit you're doing now? I mean, uh, while you were you were doing you were designing like a self AI. Yeah, yeah, early days um, before the music. You no, know, during during the music. During the music. Okay, I, I wow. just I I tinker with stuff. So um, and then somehow you think it's the music hardware well, that makes you jump into it, right? It's like all node based. It's all, it's all node based. It's all signal node processing. Based. Right. It's all putting nodes together to get your uh, your desired result. For sure. And so if you think in modular fashions and you have a fundamental understanding of every module, yeah. you don't necessarily need to write the module itself, but you know what modules connect. It's called When Ideas Have Sex, <laughs> uh, which is yeah. one of the first TED Talks I ever watched. Um, when yeah. Ideas yeah. Have Sex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great, great pickup line. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So um, yeah, um, how I pivoted life was pretty, life was pretty good, 31. Yeah. Uh, it's still a bit hard to talk about, but basically um, went for a traumatic life experience. Um, so I was about to get primary care of my daughter. Uh, I'd been raising her quite What's a her long name? time. Uh, Anika, Anika Moo. But you Anika. call her Moo. Moo Moo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and you know, it was my 31st birthday. Uh, life was good, having a great party, um, you know, 
life is good. Beautiful girlfriend, beautiful house, uh, beautiful daughter. Uh, and yes, yeah, someone set fire to it the next day. Wow. Yeah. Like actual fire. Actual fire, yeah. And so there's this amazing footage of this half naked albino running across the, in the city warehouse <laughs> rooftop um, with no shirt on. I swear so much. It was just like, oh my God, fucking, fucking, fuck, fuck. And like, they had to beep it on six o'clock news. There's <laughs> helicopters flying around, 80 firefighters. Oh my wow. God. Um, you know, it was, it was an epic thing. You know, it made the front page of everything and everyone Wait, so on the So it was your radio. area or just your house? Uh, uh, well, it was, it was a six apartments. So it was a dodgy um, slumlord house that I'd renovated. And, you know, so I'd learned how to also sand floors and, you know, I. I just learn things. Mm -hmm. um, You're a doer. You, I'm a doer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. So I was like, I need a, you know, I need a nicer house, but I don't have the money. So I yeah. just got a really shitty house and plastered and sanded the floors down and made it like this diamond in the rough. Like all around me were drug dealers and whatnot, but they all respected me and they're like, he's the guy you don't fuck with. And so I was basically nice. looked after by all these gangsters. Me and my yeah. daughter were very well looked after <laughs> uh, in this area of. What was quite an impoverished area that was, you know, in the city, which has now become extremely upmarket. So, hmm. um, yeah, so the place was arsoned. Um, Jeez. And uh, after that, a few days later, I had my court case that I'd been waiting five years for, and they threw it out because I had no house. So I lost custody of my child. Um, me and my partner broke up a few weeks later. Um, quite some time later, she took her own life. Oh, my God. So uh, I went through hell. Um, my life just fell, fell apart. Um, and so I had this crazy idea, idea to deal with the PTSD. Um, I'd always been into VR in the 90s. Mm. And I knew, that the, I knew that the army and military were using it to treat post-traumatic stress disorder. Sure. Um, okay. And so I was basically going to recreate my house using old photographs while taking Molly to mm. um, <laughs> positively reinforce the memory. Wow. Sure. Because I was having nightmares every night, sweats, Brilliant. a whole lot just wow. of the house. And so for some reason it wasn't a Nika or anything else, the house became the, the kind obsession. Of, right? The obsession, yeah it, yeah. it was my point of security. Sure. And when I lost that, I lost everything. So it was kind of like that in my mind became the thing. And so I, I knew nothing of any of this. I mean, I'd played when I was seven, eight years old with like Imagine and Lightwave and all that kind of stuff or my Amiga and the... <laughs> uh, late 80s so to say I didn't have a background this is a lie it's just that for 20 years I discovered music and girls which was a massive distraction for about 20 years so it took a pretty dramatic life thing um, also you know my daughter was getting older and it wasn't you know my, my you know, sex on tap my lifestyle was a little bit you know, good but rock starry and mm -hmm. uh, you know I didn't want her to like you to know, be around, be around, be around. So you know, sure. I, I needed to improve my um, probably the best choice, my standing yes. um, as as a, well, as, I, a, as a as an honourable gentleman. I know? love watching videos of you and your little daughter have so much fun. And oh, I mean, these videos? oh yeah, I'm more friends on Facebook. Yeah, okay. yeah. you know, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. he's a <laughs> shareaholic, so yeah. not like you and, know, you know, I'm, I'm sharing with all the CEOs stuff. and all these like industry leaders. <laughs> oh, and, that's and what they want to see. You know, well, it's they, they want to see real life. Yeah, it's how you like to deal with people. Like, I'm not an email guy. I'm like, I'm not who to whom it may concern, which is probably the reason why. From a business point, I do struggle a little. Mm. Um, but yeah, so mm -hmm. basically, you know, thought I could use all these old photographs. This I'd, guy's I'd, I'd, struggling. Come on now. <laughs> let, let, he's being humble. Uh, <laughs> let, I, I, we won't name drop what he's doing now or what he's done, but let, let's let's keep it going. But, you know, mm. you do good. I, I think you do good. I mean, look, and honestly, it's content is king. Right. So, yeah. Re Using all those photographs, ca discovered photogrammetry and discovered it at an early stage when people were still just scanning shoes. What and year so, is this? Uh, 2014. 2014. Got myself an Oculus, you know, when the Kickstarter came in. Okay. Uh, oh, brought wow. myself a, a Early on, before a Facebook yeah. bought it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 old, I'm, old, I'm old school, like Kickstarter. You had a mission, right? Yeah, you yeah, wanted yeah. to get this done. And you were going to do yeah. anything so you could to do I, I learned A driven I, creative. We, we learned how to <laughs> fly drones. We um, did, I, I spent two and a half years basically losing my mind doing research right and so i just that became the obsession that got me through huh. was literally two and a half years like you gotta realize I, I, I did get my daughter back after a few months okay um because well at the time the mum was just a mess i mean she's good now hence why i can travel um so we're good we're good just to be clear i nice. she's nice. a wonderful mum um just you know she was a lot younger than i was and so she was just you know a bit sure a delinquent at the time um <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, uh, so, you know. Did, so why why did you choose 
photogrammetry to solve this problem? Because a lot of people don't even know about photogrammetry. What I, well, what, I, mean, what I really I, want to bring I didn't you know in. About to talk when about I came this. across it, I thought it was friggin' magic. Yeah. So I mean, I discovered something called Photosynth many years earlier that Microsoft had developed. It was called, you know, it's called Photosynth, and it was an early stage photogrammetry. And I was actually going to digitize my house then when I discovered it, but I didn't have enough money to buy a, a camera. Yeah. Um, which was frustrating because that would have solved the problem essentially. Um, so, <laughs> so why, why would, why, so someone who's never experienced a photogrammetric, uh, mm. you know, experience, how could you best explain it? Well, it's like, actual why reality. is it better so, than a photo or better well, than anything okay. else? Cause you can walk around. Yeah, okay. And, so and, and, freedom of six degrees. And I, I really despise, um, the way that Samsung gear pushed VR. I think we should have always been clear that 360 is 360 and that mm. VR is actually VR. Now we have to call it true VR, mm. which is just friggin' annoying right. because it That's has, it has absolutely fucked over the general end user oh, yeah. uh, and That's has held back the industry in a few years. I honestly feel that. I, I strongly believe that. It's been too many abbreviations of words to mention and so we don't even we don't even pivot towards you know we we do vr but vr we are a vfx r d company we're not a vr company mm -hmm. um and, and what's we, your what's yeah. your company by the way so that way oh, okay so yeah re out. realityvirtual.co right um it's you gotta a, it's, see a, it's, stuff. A, it's a pretty cool logo it's like literally a, a, a camera with a 3d cube yeah uh funny enough capturing reality have a very similar logo but we were first that was ours first i've got i've got the papers to prove it boom i <laughs> um, heard it but still, heard like, it hey, look they, they, they're, they're, they're one of our biggest sponsors we love those guys just to be yeah. clear and it's actually really appropriate that our logos look the same or similar because people always think that we're not putting our stuff as us and vice versa so it's kind of a mutually beneficial uh relationship sure um so yeah, I mean, like, why it's better? Like taking all these photos, uh, or what is it? Well, even? I mean, well someone no, who's it, never it, seen it, photos. Okay, I, I will try layman. I, yeah. I struggle with layman. Yeah. You're clear <laughs> because about he's this. very okay. Smart. That's why I'm <laughs> yeah. very specific. But well, he knows the terminology too. So for like, sure. yeah. yeah, he can get in the weeds. That's a, for mm, sure. Mm. He can get into the details. Well, as, as I refer to, we're, we're in the trenches. So you're yeah. you're you're trying to like save money basically by uh, not I'm using sorry. the top equipment, and you designed you redesigned it yourself because you had. To, that you didn't have the money to spend on it. Yeah, right? well, okay, so pipeline. It, yeah. The big problems that everyone else runs into right now with this is realism uh, mm. and is baked lighting and all this stuff. So they do photogrammetry, mm. but it has no shimmer, it has no shine, mm, it has right. no level of detail that you actually need to experience in the real world. So my passion, my thing was literally to find a way to create something as realistic as real life. If mm. you don't feel like you're there, we're failing. Right. And so the, the standard from the get-go was not how good we can make the game look. For my, for me, it's a slice of life. It's a memory. It's yeah. actually being able to be somewhere and genuinely feel like you're there. So you're all about... Yeah, it's like, like a home movie or something, yeah, right? Yeah. So yeah, we, we like want representation. To, it has to be down there too. You team. wanted to go it's back realist. to that home. Yeah. yeah. So if I, if I couldn't trick my mind into thinking that I was back home, hmm. then I was fucked. I'd failed myself. I see. Uh, I see. And so as a result, we built a whole bunch of pipeline and we call you know, we, we call it um, trade secrets or you know, in New Zealand, which under IP law, just by being in New Zealand and working, we're already patenting our stuff as we go. Right. Nice. It's just, it's, a, it's New Zealand law. It's called trade secrets. Everyone's like, you need patents. I'm like, no, I just need to keep my R&D company in New Zealand. Shut up. <laughs> um, because, you know, that's what, that's the first thing. Is that on, is. on an international scale too? Do they automatically like apply for international patents for you? No, no, it just doesn't matter. It's under New Zealand. As long as you don't tell anyone outside right. of New Zealand, you're fine. <laughs> right. And the thing trade I don't secrets, like about right. patents is that you're essentially giving off your abstract thought, your ideas. Exactly. And as soon as we do that, then people are going to be able to reverse engineer it. So right. what we have done over others are a dozen things. Um, mm. One, a few years ago, we, we cracked the 700 million points limit. So what I mean by that is when people are baking in detail into these scenes, they're stuck at a certain resolution due to memory management issues. And uh, we found a way to resolve that uh, through clever memory and data management. Uh, and so we can scan scenes of you know infinite points 20 billion, 40 billion. The, the highest we've done right now is about, yeah, about 40 billion, and uh, that's pretty high. Um, just what to give you an idea, like what's most What's the difference scene, between, like, like, give us a, yeah, a, an idea. Okay, yeah, let me explain what most scenes consist of. Uh, they probably consist of a few 8K textures, okay. uh, you know, which is probably like a few hundred million in a scene at, at most. Hmm. Maybe not even that. Like, most people think 30 million's high. Okay. Um, and you're doing what? We're doing about 500, 400 to 800. 8K to 16K textures. So what he means is he's a Banff and that they're kicking ass out there. Yeah, so and, our, our, our level of detail is a magnitude higher than anything else. On top of that, 
Uh, so shimmer and shine because we're actually using the computer to look at the images and extrapolate roughness. Uh, normal maps, all these kind of things that a computer needs to know what an object is. It's called physical based rendering. Mm. So we're actually using now what the exciting shit that we're doing. This is like the, the holy moly, you're fucking kidding me stuff. <laughs> is we can take a single photograph, forget about photogrammetry, but a single photograph and extrapolate all the fundamentals from that photograph. Let it be the perfect Alberto with no lighting. Wow. Um, uh, normal maps with high level detail contextually aware it knows what it's looking at so it knows what normals look like on certain objects it knows wood grain has a wood grain texture it knows carpet has a carpet texture it knows so what about skin how texture. does it how, how does it transmit well we've trained it with skin. all the photographs that we've been doing in the past mm. so we've been you know doing de-lighting methods and gathering massive data acquisition which is basically I knew photogrammetry was going to go to deep learning I just didn't know it was going to happen in a few months which is right. literally what happened because <laughs> it was only a few months ago NVIDIA gave us these cards and within literally two months we have a working MVP thank you Em uh, uh, um, yeah, well, thank you, Rick Champagne. You are a god among men, and I love your name. And I'm going to steal it one day. Um, so, well, we- in, in 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 photogrammetry, um, just to 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 touch touch base here, I I think it was it this room that you had the vibe. Yeah, set up? yeah, this exact room. Yeah, this yeah. So exact this is crazy. Room. So, so what, what happened? Is, what did you show me that? Well, day? that's yeah. this is how. I mean, how did we even get here? Literally. So I'm working yeah. on my bedroom in New Zealand. Okay. And I'm showing off. Uh, I showed off this alleyway scene that everyone just presumed was me holding a handy cam walking down an alleyway. But it was like literally three years ago, and no one had seen anything to that level of realism. I look at it now and I cringe. Um, <laughs> but people had heard that we'd done good work, so I, I went off and I was doing another passion project um, called Mana VR, which was a beach scene. Now, the, the, just even getting the data itself, you know, I just finally got some money to get a nice um, uh, Nikon D810. And I'm walking on slippery rocks, and I slip over and I break my middle finger. It's still fucking thick as no. hell. And like, so oh, I've been, oh. I'm in this cavern. Can Knuckle you hold joint? Your yeah, finger yeah, 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 yeah. So you can see my middle finger. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to hold my finger steady there. But, uh, so that's blood, sweat, and tears yeah, 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 if yeah. you didn't so understand the metaphor. On the, slipped on the rocks, broke the freaking finger. Well, you know, yeah, it was pretty nasty and pretty fucking swollen. In New Zealand on a beach, uh, right? In New Zealand on a beach. <laughs> what but beach is this? Uh, I don't know. Just some beach. Um, so the tide comes. <laughs> In, and we're in this concave and we've got 45 minutes to actually take the photos before we're drowned from the water coming in and trapping us. Um, and so I, I have to take like 3,000 photos with basically a broken finger. Um, and, I, and I did it, but I was so You did it was, with the broken finger? Yeah, with the broken finger? finger. I was more worried that I'd just almost <laughs> smashed this brand new camera that I'd waited for years to get my hands on. Like to have a $6,000 camera to me is like... That's insane. Wait, so like, what did you do to the finger? Rock. I mean, yeah. should we, should we go through the gory details? I guess not. But. I mean, I've got actual footage of me slipping earlier while holding my phone. Um, so it was the second oh, time shit. I'd we got to edit all that shit There's together. The sec- there's a the second time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, right now, we're going to put that, that that stuff in there for you. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. so we got in. We, uh, you know, I did this. We processed it. And then NVIDIA, NVIDIA called us for GDC 2017 saying, we need a bloody, we need, we hear you're the best. And like, wow. I'm just like, sure well, am. Thank you. Um, <laughs> sure, yeah. I'll. I'm um, just like, yeah, my big team and my office will get straight onto it. And it's literally just like, literally me in, your in my room. bedroom. <laughs> um, and so, One man you know, I, 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 no, in, in all defense, um, I brought on a new guy called Tim uh, as an intern to help right. out. Um, and so, me and him just hammered it. Wow. Uh, so, in all fairness, he had an intern, but yeah. still achieved. I had to train I mean, him at the same time, but I literally had to train him while we we're doing it. So, um, so you grab this whole beach. Yeah, right? and we produced an experience within two weeks, and we also built volumetric video RGBD technology yep. uh, using connects and used all my temporal noise reduction techniques and all that I'd learned in prior years because I did video editing and flew drones and all this crazy shit as well. So like, if I was to list all the different things that I've like jumped on over the years, yeah, uh, most of them being extremely big fails and resource con- con- constraint, but it still somehow up. doing it. All these prior skills we're able to use on this stuff. So. Within two and a half weeks, we have a beautiful Māori uh, lady singing the cutting, cutting her, which is like the calling song, extremely haunting and melancholy. We have this po that was scanned. My friend Wee Cook, he made this 80, 80 foot high po that he made himself, and we did what place is a it. Po? We, po, uh, it's like a like big a, stick, like a t- like a totem, <laughs> yeah. totem like pole. A, okay, oh, totem pole. Oh, like a totem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like a big totem pole. Okay. Yeah. just just being. So serious. they scanned this pole. I mean, that in itself was hilarious. So I that, mean, t- amazing. <laughs> yeah, but how we scanned it because it wasn't there. It was next to the airport, so we couldn't use the drones to scan it. So we had to go on an eighty foot scissor lift in high winds. Oh, and this shit. scissor lift was sticking. And me and Wee Cookie, poor old Wee Cookie, is like about to cry. <laughs> and I'm getting terrified because it would keep on getting stuck and the winds would pick up and we're like 
80 feet high going like this. And we're like, oh my God, we're going to fucking die. So, it's, so everything for this project was just like one big near death experience after another. Um, <laughs> and, 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 yeah, and there was no, there was no budget. It was just, we just did this on just request of NVIDIA. And then, you know, wow. two and a half weeks later, NVIDIA's showing at GDC. It's like their highlight fucking piece. I'm like, cool. Uh, and did so, they yeah, pay you for that? I didn't want them to because it was a, 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 just to be clear this was a Māori experience and mana means mana is you do not want it related in any way to the to cash uh, mana is a very sacred word in our culture interesting and explain. so yeah. well, explain it. it's, well, you why, can't really why which, which why culture? can't really mana? explain mana mana is like I am the land I am the people mm. I am it comes from the earth it's, it's yeah, natural exactly. it's an, yeah. let me let me yeah. paint a scene because I, I saw he showed this to me so I came actually I think in this exact room really and he had the vibe set up uh -huh. and um, I you know he was. It's this beach in New Zealand, okay? And you put put the the vibe. You got the six off full sure. full room track. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And um, I was a bit skeptical. <laughs> I think it's okay to say that. You yeah, know? I think everyone was right. <laughs> and so I who is this? this who is I, this Tigerian? Right. Like, what am I about to see? So I go and I put this headset on, right? And I actually have Snapchat spectacles footage of me doing this with him. So yeah. we'll bring it in. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. But um. So you you you're on a beach in New Zealand and um and there's a giant uh, totem pole that has to be I don't know twenty yeah, it's feet eighty tall, feet it's eighty feet high eighty feet thirty five meters on the edge of a beach okay yeah. there's a woman in the corner who is volumetric yeah, video using RGBD technology okay so, so she's got yeah. like a like a kind of like uh you know. Uh, uh, a hood on or of yeah, sorts? Yeah, she's, she's a she, traditional face moko right. tattoo. Uh, I might have mispronounced that word. I'm not... I, I, okay. I love Māori culture. I'm not particularly good at pronouncing it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but, but it's, it's it's yeah, it's, it's amazing. And so 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 what I did was I I, I used this vibe, and then um, uh, I got close. They have these rocks that are sh large and they're shimmering in the sunlight, right? Yeah. Huh? And so dynamic goes, lighting. It, exactly. He goes to explain to me. He goes, well, you know, we could change the lighting on that. Wait, so like depending on where you are in the scene, the reflection it, will change. Look, it's it's real life, guys. <laughs> it it, this, looks this is why like I can't, this is why I can't keep it. You're on a real. It, Beach. When I have clients come to me and they're like, hey, hey you know, explain to me this VR thing that you do. Um, I've got the space that I want to capture and I want to put in the VR. Right. And I'm like, okay, look, get off the phone, go walk around your space and then come back to me. And they'll, they'll do it. And I'm like, how was that? And they're like, I don't it's understand. Actual I said, That's reality. actual reality. So it's literally, we're capturing the fundamentals of what makes reality look real. Yeah, um, and so you know that's where the deep PBR comes in, which is huge. So in the past we've been kind of faking it using all sorts of different methods, and uh -huh. uh, what I refer to as a hybrid lighting system. So you're still stuck with some baked elements, but this has literally now got to the point that none of it happen ha happens anymore. That's amazing. Well, so here is the eerie thing about it all, right? So right. I looked at all these reflections. I'm looking at the water. The water is cool. Water is really hard to achieve, yeah. by the and way. And is this video plane or is this it's like the water's, use, the water's using shaders? It's a, it's Unreal Engine. It's literally it's, a gaming. Okay. It's a gaming engine, but you're walking around like you're walking back in reality. It's the weirdest yeah. thing to yeah. explain, but it doesn't feel like a game. It feels like you're inside of a video. Why do we photo. not have a demo of this right now? We, well, we do. I've got on my laptop. We've, just we're going to bring it in. We're going to bring it in. But wait, so here's the catch. Even beyond that, right? So the other part that was mind blowing is he says the one. Woman, the totem pole, those were never there at that time. All beach. separate, yeah. What? They, they so were you, never there. Oh. So, so we're, we're able to reposition, it? we're able to superimpose. Uh, One was we, volumetric? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. The pole was volumetric? Well, or, the, pole, no, the pole was photogram photogrammetry. Talk about, photogrammetry. Talk about yeah. deep fakes and like recreating well, situations. I mean, the yeah, moon landing yeah. did happen, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear it here first. <laughs> and so, uh, so I, I've seen like a music video that you've done, I think. Oh, that like was this. years ago. So we, we definitely did the first Six Degrees of Freedom music video in VR, but it got like 20 views on YouTube. YouTube, and we were paid like four thousand dollars, which is it. a damn Fuck. shame. We're gonna four thousand New Zealand. No, so yeah, like, yeah, we're gonna blow that shit. Two point five, two point five US were paid to do that. Oh, um, you got to see this shit for yourself, guys. Yeah. But every drop of money that we've got from the small number of clients that we've had in the past has just gone straight back into just equipment and funding. And this is why we love uh, Nvidia. And I mean, if it wasn't look, man, if it wasn't for Epic Games, I mean, the thing that happened with Nvidia was great, but it's not the thing that actually saved the company and saved me. Yeah. Uh, it was the fact that Epic Games, Dana Corley, lovely lady, they just dropped us 30, 40k. I don't know what the translation is for that. Um, you know, um, 
uh, with no NDA, bank, nothing. Uh, they just they just said they were just like, yeah, 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 "Where's your yeah, what's yeah. your bank account Cha-ching. number?" Uh, <laughs> that was it. And so I, 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 I mean, honestly, me man, money. I, I, was, I was I was <laughs> I was pretty much giving up at that point, like on multiple things. I I didn't. So by, I thought, fuck it, I'm just gonna get a ticket to America. And that's when we met. Yes. So it's like what? I was, and so I was, I, I'd never left the fucking country. So I, I've, why did I've you end up like ha- upload? I've traveled why, like. Why oh, did you end okay, up like upload? So sorry, Will. I do apologize about this. Um, <laughs> so I've been emailing Will and Taylor and all the other guys, trying to get some press, just trying to get any kind of <laughs> article out there. Like yeah. we, we, you know, we really struggle with actually being known. Hmm. You've got uh, an article though. Well, we've got one now. Hum- humble brag though. What, what what kind of articles you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, it's I mean, no big deal. You, but you what was a little bit of coverage. Yeah. I've had a few honorable mentions. Forbes these days. Oh, you know, they write about everybody. Yeah, I mean, you know, me, you know. Yeah. You know. Charlie, Charlie Fink and me are going to be on a panel okay. at South by South. Runner up at Forbes, you know. This <laughs> um, guy's super. You know, Red, Red, yeah. Red Shift was great. The article Fucking that Autodesk did was absolutely hilarious. Um, Slightly more hilarious because we don't actually use any of their photogrammetry software, um, but they wrote this amazing feature article for us, and I'm like, I, I, I actually, this is, this, accurate, is, this, is, yeah. this is awkward. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, let set we, the record straight. We, then, we had you a know? pirated version of Maya running on our machine up until very recently, so you know, it's kind of like, but you know, thanks for the free press. Could you give us a copy of a Maya license? You know, this guy needs um, whatever he needs. Look, yeah. he started off with some. Microsoft connects and guys for the kids out there you have to understand that this revolution of scanning things into a reality that you can yeah. remember this is just again. the beginning I mean this it is goes Microsoft so far connect that has yeah. came out years ago that you yeah. used to play games with there is a few weeks to work it out and like yeah. when I say us I mean me him and my and imaginary AI, thing. Uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Jarvis or what is, it, what is your AI's name again oh Brian Brian going going back to the music when I was writing the music I would actually compartmentalize all the different musicians in the band in my head so they'd all have their different stylistics and traits and qualities and so I'd actually refer to them as different band members so how many instruments yeah. can you play or even Physically? if they're virtual sets uh, well Maybe no no we're, we're virtual doing instruments. orchestral composition uh, drums you know and I was, the whole time I was the music is very similar to the visual and right. the VR because I was trying to f- make something real out of right. something that wasn't and so you know at the hu- humanization elements that I'd add to all these instruments um, was off the chart. I mean, that's why it even stands up today, like 18 years later. I mean, this is from like 98 to like 2008. It still stands strong. Wow. I, I love that there's a lot of uh, creatives getting into technology. Yeah. yeah so, that's, 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 so, so many so sound cool. engineers, man. Like, honestly, our first question, like half the time we were hiring someone is, have you been a sound engineer in the past? <laughs> if you have, you've got the job. Like, literally. But that's oh, when we can wow. actually hire people. But, yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, there's definitely been, soon, definitely been a strange... Send your resume yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. There's been a strange push. There's, that, there's definitely been that element going on. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so... Oh, so the next, next experience yeah, that okay. I saw you put yeah. out, and just because I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm keeping my eye out, you know? Yeah. Um, so after I saw this Maya I- I- experience here... Um, I had a lot of questions. We hung out. Uh, we we hit we hit a bar. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be vague about very, it. Very yeah, yeah, maybe don't go into the details. So yeah, it's yeah. Not important. It, it was. Um, we had a rock star night, and yeah, uh, yeah definitely. It, and so, and and what 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 ends up happening is later on, I I'm, I'm watching. He, he goes back to New Zealand, and, uh, and and he's still putting out some projects. And I saw this um, this home that had art. Yes, yes. The Talk homestead. about that a bit. The homestead. Now, once again, it was another R&D project. We've never actually been able to we've release demos that people can download, but, you know, disclaimer, it's buggy as hell and slow and not optimized. So every project we did, we're learning how to do things better. We're treating each project like an R&D project. Even our clients' projects, we're very clear with them that we're going to break shit while doing this, but you're going to have the cutting edge. Right. We're using your money for R&D. We're not, we're not yeah. you know, hanging out on yachts or anything. Right, right. Oh, um, for sure, yeah. And so, you know, that's why every project, like, that's why Nefertari ends up being a, a groundbreaker, but we'll get into that in a second. But yeah, yeah when Wallace, you, when you ho- love your the, gear, yeah. you spend the money on yeah, the gear. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so the homestead was approximately 15 billion points. Uh, all the paintings are actual paintings that like, you go up and you, you can see the oil leaving the canvas how it would in you real can life. See like the depth. It's it's like walking on Mars. That's the way I describe it. So it's of like the painting you can itself. See the paint yeah. yeah, you yeah. can like the details, You can go so into like, that painting that you can make that painting a horizontal plane, mm-hmm. and it's like walking around mountains. 
That's so like, cool. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you could walk on the yeah, painting. Yeah, so we've had demos where I, we're, we're, large we have demos where I just flatten the painting so it's like tabletop flat. Yeah. And I just scale its size to the size of a stadium. Wow. And I'm just teleporting around this painting and everything still is sharp. That is so the fibers cool. and the cloth are literally like, you know, proper fibers and cloth. And the oils that are coming off the painting. You could almost like say mountains. it's like a digital acid trick. Oh you my could, god. You could almost yeah. say that. When can we experience this? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, the I download's wanna... been available for years. It's just slow and buggy. We, 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 we didn't have the means or budget to redo it. We what would you to need to make it happen? Exactly. Well, we want someone like the Smithsonian or... I mean, so we saw this other art project people were comparing us with where someone had scanned a whole bunch of Dutch artists. And this is, I'm going to get to this point straight off the bat. There is good money going to shit companies that are producing shit product because they have a better that, marketing team but they have a marketing team I am the marketing fucking team and so and, and the creator <laughs> yeah. and so and, and, and. and it drives us nuts so we saw this Dutch project and I think HTC like I don't know something like a million dollars for this Dutch project of these artworks right and they're going on about how it's photogrammetry and all that we jump in it's it's on planes it's just it's just a high res Google picture on a freaking uh, planar polygon of two polygons there's no displacement there's there's no roughness, there's, there's nothing, it's just a high resolution picture oh, with, a, with a basic gloss map. Right. Um, and the yeah. guy, basic, and, guys. And so I'm, th I'm thinking, <laughs> what, there's a few reasons this really pisses me off. One, I'm Dutch. Okay. You're Dutch. Two, I've been, so running, with, I, I've been running to HTC <laughs> and others with the Homestead, which is the art experience that you're talking about, for you know a good year and a half. And for some reason, these other companies that, you know, they're kind of established companies, I get it, but they're established, it, it's not actually good being established because you're using old pipeline. Mm. And so, you know, uh, the likes of Weta and others, I love Weta, my, you know, I'm from Wellington, I'm from Wellington, Peter Jackson is a hero in our country, but they are using a 20 year old pipeline. Huh. And so they, they fix problems by hiring hundreds of people where we, because we're doing it smarter, not harder, we're using one person and deep learning, or one right. person and super sampling, or you know, you see what I'm saying? We, yeah. We're actually building the automation pipeline as we go. That's really good. And we're setting it wow. to a level of standard that where our benchmark is so high. So I even remember we coming to San Francisco a year and a half ago, and I'm at this conference, and this is the first night I've been here, yeah. there's a Facebook guy and a YouTube guy and all that, and they're, they're going on about, you know, VR is good and all that, but we're years away before we get, you know, something that looks like actual reality. And, like, I, and I, I'm just like, I'm like, guys, none of VR is over there. And they wouldn't even jump on and have a right look. It's almost like Whoa. if they just block their ears. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know if we're just too ahead. And it's, or if we, if there's actually a reason that there's some, I'm not going to say suppression. I mean, but, you know, like, you somebody know, you, give you, this guy a couple million yeah, bucks because we're yeah. been like duct taping together and scraps free to leave and a, making world changing. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, shit. this guy's ready to go. You know, why, why isn't anyone jumping on this? We, you know we, don't, I mean? we like, don't, we don't know. We, 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 we know we're popular in the trenches. We know everyone knows the work. We, yeah. we get it. But for some reason, uh, I think it's because of us being in New Zealand, which is odd. Come on, guys. Like, people invest in weather. It's, it's, you know, <laughs> uh, a lot of technology. You eat our steaks, you happily pay for them, you buy all our <laughs> fucking beef, pro you buy all beef. our properties. <laughs> I mean, seriously, our rent has gone up so high because of the rest of the world. Uh, the like, Sauvignon yeah. Blanc is yeah. my favorite. Yes, we make From New fine Zealand, wine. Marlboro. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, like, so the first real gig, which you know, at this point, up to up until home, up until homestead and everything else, um, we hadn't actually really got paid for anything. It was all just personal, personal passion projects. I'm just like literally raising my daughter, taking her to school and back every day, using the doll to basically do what I do. Yeah. Um, wow. And our first actual real gig was after that American trip, after Epic Games gave us some money. Uh, meeting, meeting, meeting the guys at Curiosity Stream, this um, Curiosity Stream um, Experience VR, and and being asked to be sent to Egypt to go scan Nefertiti's tomb. So my first real yeah, slow that down. Yeah, yeah say that slow again. Slow that yeah. down. So, so you went to happened, Egypt yeah. 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 So to scan the pyramids. Yeah. Well, not so much the pyramids. Or the the most prestigious tomb uh, that is <laughs> the most prestigious tomb in, in modern history. The name not, being like, not slowly. just the pyramids, the most prestigious. Yeah. 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 And, and just to be clear, there were a few other tombs we scanned as well, which I can't <laughs> mention under legal lawsuit. So wow, uh, that's exciting. Yeah, but I mean, some amazing stuff. A lot of gold. A lot, <laughs> a lot of gold. Oh my Let's just say God. a lot of gold. Shh, don't yeah. tell anybody. Yeah. 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 Um, it's 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 a secret inside. Secret. Yeah. 
place it's where a gold yeah. may be found. Ma ma gold yeah, may yeah. Be found. well, I mean, you know, it's, <laughs> it's under lock and key. You a lot know, of gold like, assets, yeah. But, okay, um, so the stuff you can talk about. Nefertari, yeah. I can absolutely talk about. Which is on Steam, Steam is on right Steam, now. Steam, yeah. Steam, on Steam. Ready to and download. Dude, seriously, July and August, it was the 11th highest rating Steam app, not Steam VR app, Steam app based on user review. So what? literally, we, sh not, not VR, actual Steam, live of high, it's rated at 98.8% .8 right now. Wow. Ready to yeah, go, you guys. Like, I mean, yeah. try this out. And, and you know uh, what, the, about funny ancient is, the funny Egypt. thing is, it's actually terrible compared to our internal build. This guy, you see, what? You see? it's the humble brag, you see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, the, what's on Steam is shit, but what we got behind, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. behind no, the, the curtain, it, it, it's yeah. good. Watch, I mean, don't get me wrong, it, it is good. It's just not the best. So after that, well, we, let's talk yeah. about this. You know, world's first yeah. before yeah. you d before yeah. you, you yeah. shoot it before down. Before I shoot it down. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's um, called ambition, or I'm not sure what we call that. But yeah, go ahead. So with Nefertari, it had so many new technologies in, in itself, and so we didn't even know what we we're doing. So there's this classic story, and I can tell this now. Yes, set the scene. You, so okay. how do you so get to Egypt? I, 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 yeah, these guys. I've are, never yeah. been to Egypt. Yeah. So I'm flown for three <laughs> days straight, 36 hours to get there. Uh, one trip was seven and a half hours on the A380, which was beautiful, by the way. Only plane I felt comfortable on. Um, <laughs> the which one? The A380, the big one, okay, the really yeah. big one. Uh, so we, we yeah we get there. So we got six days in Egypt. We're scanning. It's like we're on the Nile River in the penthouse apartment type thing, and what? It, it's just. It Did you beautiful. photogrammatize? That? No, no, no. I, was, I, 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 I scanned a hell of a lot of stuff over those eight days. Um, but yeah, and we get there, and like I, I'm, you know, it's like there's like twenty people on the team, but there's just myself down in the actual tomb by itself. <laughs> Uh, and there's like five guys with AK-47s at the top, making oh. sure that either, I'm not sure if they're there to like protect the tomb or protect us. I still oh don't really know. God. It is like, a, you know, there's, um, the, I, I call, I, no, just to be clear, there's not a racist term. I call them white cops and black cops. So there's guys with white uniforms who are the white cops. Yep. And you guys, have got, you got these guys in the black uniform, which are like secret service. Okay. And so, so that was, that, uh, well, we had five white and one black. It was insane. So a little secret service and, you know, yeah. sprinkle Jeez. it in there. Yeah. So you got the AK-47s. What are yeah. the other guys doing out, out, uh, outside? I don't know. People are just bringing me coffee when they do it. And stuff <laughs> like that. It was really cool. You got any processing uh, yeah. team? No, no, no. Oh. So it was just, just me, my laptop, Send and my so, yeah. so what, they what literally, it, Yeah, I, I literally Single-handedly went down with my Pelican case. What, what did it Simon feel like? Did it, to, did it? Yeah. Was there an electric this? air? I mean, did you feel uh, a different sort of energy there? Like, I mean, was uh, no, Alistair it, it, Crowley it, it, talking? It was, to you? Cra <laughs> it was crazy. I, I, I thought at one point I actually was I had got cursed because you know I thought a piece of paint particle got my nose and I got this weird rash the day before I was leaving. And what? Oh, yeah, I had no. sinus difficulties for about six months afterwards. So the air was really thick. Oh, yeah. Sure. Like it, it was, it, it, was, actually, it was actually right? a difficult trip. Um, like a bad legit, like when I got home, I, I actually thought I was gonna die from exhaustion. I bet. Um, wow. But yeah, the amazing thing was back to the technology that we used there. So it was the right. first environment that had ever been de-lit in, 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 in the world of photogrammetry. First environment ever de-lit. Explain, and what does that mean, Well, it just means, it means there's we can, no light. We, we can relight it exactly how we want. So the tomb has these horrible halogen lights in there which suck, right? Uh -huh, and we didn't right. want that. So we had to kind of overpower the halogen lights with our own lighting oh. method. They had to keep it even throughout the whole entire tomb. But the funny thing is this, is I had only hypothesized this. And so I'm, I'm being flown to Egypt. Wing it. I'm, I'm flying to Egypt. I run down to the first chamber I can see to the right, take a bunch of photos, run back up. They're like, what are you doing? Why aren't you down there? I'm just like, give me a second, guys. Just give me a second. <laughs> Running for the processing, throwing in the capturing reality. Oh, what are we going to get? What are we going to Oh, thank God it works. Okay, well, I'm going to get back to work now. And so literally, I, I could have tested it in an alleyway like days before, but I was so confident of the hypothesis <laughs> that I just, oh, I man. did it on location. So uh, living on the edge. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but it worked. It's like Indiana Jones, the photogrammetric Indiana Jones. Yeah. Yeah, the the Andy Warhol <laughs> <laughs> of it. Punk rock meets version. Indiana Jones. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, so you go yeah. down in these tombs, and so has, so you said no one's been there before? Well, or? no, no, they, they, they locked it off for like 20, 30 years. Oh, okay. um, and so. if you're a tourist, you can be in there for like two minutes. It was a little stale in there then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> was it not, scary? Yeah. Were you scared? No, no. No, no, I mean, it was, it was a bit nerve-wracking, like having to visually map it out and not break anything because like that's you know obviously that's the other thing being legally blind and doing all the shit at the same time is also the other, like, <laughs> so, what the <laughs> yeah. so wait, so the so legally I'm like, blind I'm like guy. terrified that I'm gonna like like lean on something or stand on some <laughs> 5,000 year old shoes of a certain character um, and other things and so you know you're working with these artifacts and so 
you just don't want anyone to move it because you're mapping out very carefully in your head what you have, right. what vision you do have to work out where it is. And so that's where the photogrammetry comes natural for me. Sure. Because huh? I'm mapping out all my environments as I go. Anyway. All the time. Just in yeah. general. Yeah. Just on a daily basis because just to, because for some people who are just tuning in and don't know too much about the legally blind and, and, and how is it that you could create it's, these yeah. amazing things that like, I have LASIK and I'm looking at this stuff and I'm thinking this is a real rock, real yeah, beach, all that. Yeah. Meanwhile, this guy's performing magic over here. Well, I mean, so, like, like, tell us a little bit about how you actually, uh, you know, see. Uh, um, it's uh, described as a 90s handicam, a cheap 90s, 90s handicam. handicam. Like, so so you've the got ex color. exposure is an issue. Like if you point a 90s handicam at a window, you can't see anything inside the house. Okay. It's got like a limited, um, Interesting. You know, limited uh, contrast ratio. So you're always say. watching an MTV music video. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great. And, and it's I love like, how you walk so yeah. cool. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I've, got the, I've got the stride. They say that like, you've got the stride. It's like, I'm not actually striding. I'm literally using my feet to map out my environment as I'm walking. So my feet are doing half the singing. You didn't see his yeah. rock star jean jacket. It's a little hot in here, but yeah, this guy's <laughs> always looking like 100. You, 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 you should see my Dylan shades. I have like the like completely matted out, diffused <laughs> like Dylan shades, and people are like, "How can you see through those?" I'm like, "Well, it doesn't really matter." <laughs> <You know? laughs> already... So why why do you think it gives you this? Do, do you think what what attention is it that to, you attention see? to detail would be the argument here? <laughs> like it's like I, I get to see the bigger picture, the the, the overall color of something uh -huh. yeah. so this is why I love fine arts and this is why I love color so I've, if you're talking about shades of color I've actually got the eyes of a pilot so I can see distinguishing between two different like shades of red you know better than most people oh do you but, have like okay. an extra cone or what's the genetic uh, difference there uh, I, I don't know something about a recessive gene uh, thing I remember in fifth form um, school science I actually failed science by one percent because they had a question about albinism and like, failing well, science they're like, but what were, the, what were the chance if you have two parents with a recessive gene what were the chance that that child would be albino I, was, I just wrote because shit happens <laughs> uh, and, but then they gave me passionate consideration for the question and then they actually ended up passing the, the science paper so um but that's a little side note. Um, it's, it's never been a problem for me. I, I, yeah. I, I, well, I, clearly not. Right? I have a brother and sister who are albino and they were albino before I was. Are brother. they doing volumetric? No, no, no they're, 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 they're doing great shit in their own field. Like, don't get me right. wrong, but my brother became a bodybuilder and so I didn't have any problems at school and both our parents were, <laughs> both our parents were the local veterinarian. So there's this thing, like if my brother doesn't beat you up, my parents will kill your cat. So, like, <laughs> You've always had a bodyguard so is I what always, you're saying. I, 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 was, I, I was strangely popular at school. Um, pyramids. Yeah. He's got the guys with the AKs. Yeah. Yeah. He's got his brother. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Watch like, out, guys. Yeah, it's just, you know, don't just walk up, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it was it's fun. It's uh, it's it's been interesting. Um, so you so tell done, us more about this scan well. and, and 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 this experience. I mean, this a, is a, like a Nifatari. Yeah. Um, well, no, I mean, it's just amazing. It's actually arguably better in VR than it is in real life because you can get right up and close and actually look at each and take every, your time, every little grain. Every, I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm being serious, guys. I'm talking about like it's down to the sub millimeter in grain level you you'll go cross-eyed before you can see any kind of drop in level yeah. of detail um, oh. and we've done that even better now using super sample deep learning that's the other reason why it's better the deep learning we're about to train our own images with the images we took so we're actually customizing our, our training data sets specific to the task so we, we have a stroke that we don't have celebrities eyes or faces in our photo because all the data sets out there are like celebrity photo data sets and all this kind of shit so it's actually really that helps a lot but the other cool stuff is where there was wooden floors and no smoking signs and all that kind of jazz we're able to do in painting which is basically photoshop content aware fill sure where, oh, we're yeah. able to, where we're literally able to remove circle around things that we don't want and go computer what do you think should be there get it, and it, and it and even better 95 percent of the time it gets it spot on and it's indistinguishable wow. to people who jump in that tomb now they don't even notice the seams it's seamless uh-huh like both in, in terms of graphics. It's like walking through an actual spot, but this you're saying that, that this You can walk through this, by the way, so for yeah, the guys yeah. who, who don't know, this is like a, a full room tracking, like if you were to set up a room, a space that you could walk around, you could walk around yeah. the actual pyramids and yeah. see what he's talking about right yeah. now, yeah. Right. but for yourself, and you can crawl on the ground and look in the details yeah. of the corners. Well, I mean, oh, look, it is since like, we're on this topic, because I, th I mean, this is a little bit of a tangent, so we can go yeah. back to what we were talking yeah, yeah, about yeah, earlier. Yeah. But, I mean, we're <laughs> talking about, about drink the, the, that's right, <laughs> the yeah. pyramids. Pause. Yeah. Get another drink. Yeah. <laughs> we can get another drink uh, yeah, yeah. in a minute, but yeah, 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 yeah I mean, yeah. actually, why don't we save this conversation for 
after them. No, I agree. Drink. I agree. I yeah, because it's so. I mean, all right. We're what it, a what can, can we take a yeah. pause? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get two minutes of air as well because yeah, yeah. I'm literally gonna this, play it very soon. Cool. This yeah. Next, yeah. Th this podcast is brought to you by <laughs> photogrammetry and deep learning. Yeah. Because photogrammetry is always better. With I, deep I'm learning. terrified <laughs> that this is live right now. No, it's not. No, no, no. I'm just. I took drama classes and broadcast and I just fucking wing it. Oh my god. All right, guys. We're gonna go smoke a joint. We'll be back. Okay. Bye. Yeah. We've got a number of techniques of extrapolating amazing detail. We're venturing into some deep learning stuff. But what it really boils down to is just brute force. You get the photographs, you get them as clean as possible, you get them as perfect as possible. We've been able to do super sampling techniques on those photographs because we have multiple photographs. And then we're able to approach that super sampling into the generation of point cloud. Yeah, no, it's, it's like being on Mars. I mean, you can literally teleport yourself into this painting. A single painting will have like 1.5 billion points. We got shimmer and roughness. So we're not just extrapolating the fundamentals. Most people think they think a painting and they just think a picture and they'll just go onto Google Images and download a high-res picture. Oh, there we go, that's art. The meaning of art. No, it's not. Unless you've literally got every single fiber and every single paint stroke in there. So you need to know what's shiny and what's rough and what's matte and what's not. We've got so good at extrapolating the material properties of these paintings using our that we can take away the colour of the painting. And you can see details in that painting that you can't see with the naked eye. So we're actually extrapolating information higher than what we can perceive in reality. So that's pretty exciting. Welcome back guys to the Digital Acid. Uh, we just came back What's from our break. Uh, you know, we're going to have another beer here. So. We're back here with Simon, uh, the photo grammetry rock star they, 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 they call me the vr rock star that's okay, like that's literally the name i've been now. hearing quite a lot of recently right, so VR that, rock star. I, and I, I did not brand that but the funny <laughs> thing is i was actually going to call my company star vr right like oh, except really? for the headset star vr came out of the name but that was our original name oh shit. yeah All because right. star oh, ar a little, vr little is too, negative information but it was also there. kind of then that translated to the vr rock star and it was just this kind of theme that we we're thinking about four and a half years ago but yeah star vr so, oh, so, so what did you end up calling it though? Well, we're reality virtual. Reality and I just do it to like yeah. confuse dyslexic people. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, like, because everyone, yeah. Because everyone, yeah. Some good everyone, Google everyone, SEO yeah. though, I bet. <laughs> everyone goes to you, oh, so you're virtual reality. I'm like, yes. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll so, go with that. So, um, so I think where we left off is we were we were in the in the pyramids. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's jump back into it. Um, uh, just to give you a quick re recap, um, Simon uh, was uh, flew to Egypt to scan the pyramids in a incredibly yeah, well, realistic virtual reality. Nef technically, Nefertari's tomb in the Valley of the Kings and the Valley of the Queens. Uh, pyramids are actually quite a while away, but it's, it was a, it's, it's still Egypt, so it's still cool. And go. also Luxor Museum, we scanned a whole bunch of artifacts, so that was also cool. You heard it from the horses. Yeah, yeah. there you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we called it Bob's tomb for the whole week because I'm terrible with words. Like literally, I describe English as my second language um, because abstract thought is actually my first language. Well, and so coming in clear to me. Yeah, like names and things are really difficult for me. I couldn't actually speak up until the age of seven. They thought I was uh, autistic, and I'm definitely on the spectrum. Um, and but I, I basically learned how to socialize. <laughs> Yeah. Wait a second. So like Einstein didn't Prodigy. wait until like he waited until Beethoven. he was four to talk, but yeah. you wait until you're seven. So you're just like yeah. no yeah. whole I mean, Even level. when I was thirteen, like my girlfriend was Kaye Benny, and I loved her heaps and her blue eyes and her blonde hair and the Kaye the Kaye Yayo. Like literally, that's how I spoke. And I was an artist, and all the kids would mock me because they're like, "What color are you using?" Because they knew I'd say Yayo or blue. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So awesome. I couldn't say blue, and then I couldn't say yellow. I still can't say th. So I say the, not. 
va. You know, oh, va. You say yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was really struggling because, you know, and, and so I, I went to radio school and I ended up doing like voice work and documentary work for National Radio, which is like the English speaking radio station. And I did that just to make my mum happy and proud. Uh, so it was literally. Everything has been a struggle. The moral of the story is don't put anything in this guy's way. (laughs) Because he's gonna break through whatever fucking obstacle it is and bulldoze that shit and it works for something. I I dream this stuff. Like literally, you don't wanna be me. It's it's like I think as Elon Musk described it's like a constant explosion. In your head. Yeah, yeah, and like it really is a thing. So um it it's you know, it's anxiety. If Riddance. you're wondering what it feels yeah. like to yeah. be inspired, yeah, right. Just uh, the anxious artist, right? Yeah. You know, the creative. I wouldn't wish it on anyone, honestly. But you get but your results. If you want to enjoy the fruits of those labor, yeah. you go to Steam and you yeah. can download it today. <laughs> <laughs> the future now. <laughs> Shameless plug. Shameless plug. But um, yeah, no. Yeah. To to get back to what we were talking before, I mean, we were um, getting into how you got the pyramids you wanted to yeah. uh, send you in by yourself yep yeah, yep yeah. so Neferatis. solo solo guy it was awesome um Nefertari. flown to dubai everyone thought i was um that tiberian guy that got melted by gold so i had a bunch of girls running around the airport asking for my autograph really uh, yeah like seriously like it was like they thought you were from game of thrones yeah they thought i was the, 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 <laughs> like the, the, the they thought i was the evil rapey brother <laughs> of game of thrones which is really you guys, weird like why you got like, casted oh in gold God. yeah oh, i'm gonna sleep with i'm like you're fucked up you, 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 your parents really Really did a number on you, um, yeah, but no, no. Yeah. So that's kind of worked. Um, it was really weird because, I, yeah, I only went with the natural hair color, you know, in the last few years. Actually, after the fire, everyone thinks that my hair went white from stress from the fire. <laughs> oh my god, from the fire! This is yeah. like a, it's like a comic yeah, book. Yeah, but it, it, you know it wasn't. I mean? It wasn't the it's case. Like storm. It was, it was, or something, yeah, you know, it, from X Men. It, it was like, literally just I. You know, um, you go for reinventions in your life, or you reinvent yourself every few years, and this was just one of those. Man, I can't wait to see what the next uh, metamorphosis yeah. is. God, Jeez. don't just you keep me away from LA, guys. It's like a fucking <laughs> McKinnon. You might a, morph into something else. McKinnon That's trouble. Candy That's store. trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so mm. we're, we're. So, yeah, Nefertari. We're walking down the pyramids. Yep. You got guys with guns outside. Yep. Yeah, and well, but okay, so we kind of <laughs> captured the beginning of that, but like, look, we're capturing the pyramids, but it's not insignificant that. You, you're capturing the pyramids in, in 3D detail, and yeah. So let's pres- talk more about the pyramids and what well, they talk, were look, for. Look, look, you know? Let's talk about preservation. Okay. So yeah, that's yeah. the important thing here. I mean, this was because I personally lost something. So you don't know what you've lost. You don't know what you've lost until you've truly lost it, right? Mm-hmm. And so being in the photogrammetry community, I've had, I had a lot of friends who have worked with... I've had a lot of friends that work with... Um, uh, so luckily we've got microphones, but um, no, they're close mics, right? They're like close mics. They're cardioid. They're cardioid. Yeah. Cardioid. So we'll just okay. bring that other mic over here. So There's a blockchain right. event going just, on right well, you now. Just turn that guys. one off. Yeah, yeah. Turn it off completely. Yeah, Can you? Is it off button? Or uh, unplug it? Yeah, there is actually. I think that's three. Can you uh, tap it? Okay, that's good. All right, thanks. Okay, okay, we're good. Cool, cool. All right, so as long as we keep close, we're gonna be fine. Um, so yeah, let's talk about cultural preservation. The whole idea. You know, you know, you don't know what you've lost until you've truly lost it, and right. and so that was my my reason for getting into this on a personal level. But then, you know, getting into the community and realizing that other people around the world are scanning statues and you know world wonders before ISIS came in and blew them all up and all that kind of jazz, right. you, you realize the importance. Um, for sure. But the problem is, is that. There's a, few com- there's a few companies out there I'm a bit belligerent to right now that will work with. Um, certain companies, and I'm not going to name names, but um, you know, you could search it on Google. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Just look online. Yeah, yeah. just go on Google. Raise yourself. Just go on fire. Google and search <laughs> Google on Google. Um, yeah, um, where the you know where these parties are encapsulating the data and, and saying that they're doing it under a public trust and they're, they're not. They're not giving you the right. They're going to keep not, it and they're, they're giving you the sell JPEGs and they not giving you the raw fucking data, which is what you actually need to do a proper job of this. Right. Um, that is the new gold. But yeah. you know we're we're raw actually data. you know we'll 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 work with them and we'll give them the pipeline they need to process the stuff properly. So there's a lot of parties out there who are doing it, but they're doing it in a half-assed way. And there's other parties that are actually being quite disingenuous about what they're actually doing under the name of cultural preservation and public trust. Hmm. We 
want to integrate a blockchain artist rights management system that actually means that every person who takes a photograph is branded and tagged on that photograph and have it as a royalty based methodology because mm. as a musician man I had a lot of fucking radio play oh, and I man. never got paid a fucking cent for my work right and that pisses me off yeah. and I don't want to see photographers running around the world doing that but what everyone needs everyone needs a Kodak and so what Reality Virtual mm. and Deep PBR are really trying to do is be the Kodak be the automated system that gathers all those photographs and create digital assets out of them for the likes of uh, universities studios and the rest of you so imagine wow. your studio and you need to do a, a scene in the Colosseum or you know some great place in Spain or Mexico City or whatnot, right? The future of VFX and film yeah. is using these virtual spaces and actually running it in real time. That's the other crazy thing. The real time, real time ray trace shit that Nvidia is doing with the RTX architecture yeah. means we can do real time VFX oh to quality God, of that's film. That's profound, right? Yeah. We were just talking yeah. about this, uh, or Kent Bai, I think, was talking about this. He's got a, a VR a Voices of VR podcast, which is really great. Right? Yeah, I've been trying to get on his thing forever. Oh, and yeah. he, he's been a bit of a snob. What? But I finally Why? tracked him down and cornered him and said, Wait, we got to do OC5? this. At OC5? At OC5? No, no, I didn't see him at OC5. He he, he doesn't live in like the, one of the major cities. He's kind of like... He's in Portland. Oh, yeah, he's in Portland. I mean, I'm not saying Portland. <laughs> not the major city. Not, you know what yeah, I, well, you know what yeah, I but, mean. But, you know, Portland, yeah. I, th I think, Portland's I'm not nice. sure. But All right, well, Voices of VR, yeah. the digital acid recommends that you, you check out... You have a conversation with Simon Shadekor. Yeah. And stop, you know... You know what I mean? Stop blacklisting me, guys. I'm sure he'd be happy. I'm here. He does them all day. This guy But he was he was at OC5. I saw him interviewing some people. I was sleeping. Uh, so, I would, I would have loved know. to have seen him. Um, but yeah. Just to be fair, the guy did get back to me. He's been super busy. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I've been thinking that, you know, doing a show on his would make a lot of sense. So, yeah, getting back to it. Right. Artist right management. We, we yes. don't hold the data in a blockchain. We use traditional servers via, you know, essentially mesh data storages, floating torrent type stuff. So you've got multiple backups of the same stuff everywhere. But you actually put the seed or the, the key in the blockchain. Mm. So the key is a way of protecting the data. And under that data management, the user can define what use cases they want those photographs that should be used for. So there's certain companies that have came to New Zealand and scanned mid-eyes. And so, mid-eyes are, mid are the Māori homes, right? Yeah. And they've scanned mid-eyes and you know, they're giving the data away willy-nilly, which I think is actually kind of silly. You shouldn't give it willy-nilly. It needs to be protected like, so you yeah. don't put a stripper pole in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like seriously. Later on. And so you're saying that blockchain could prevent that prevent from happening. Prevent mismanagement and also pay the, end, you pay the, the artists who's running around actually digitizing it. And so when you give an incentive to thousands of people to use their phones and their cameras to go around the world, you could back up the planet, which is literally my methodology. This is my, this is my legacy. Mm -hmm. Is to back up the planet. Mm. So that's so, simple. So you're gonna are you gonna follow the sort of Creative Commons um, sort of example of being able to to, to like okay just identify it, what you're yeah your it's Creative, creative Commons is. but it's not exactly because Creative Commons is a little too open. We're, we're more think of us as more of an archives public trust. Okay, meaning that if some is, is these other companies that I've worked with, let's say for Nevertise Stream, let's say they go bankrupt, right? Which I'm not saying is likely. <laughs> um, dramatic <laughs> pause. Dramatic pause. Um, <laughs> but it could happen. Um, <laughs> it could happen, right? And never then, say never. And then who has the photos? Because if you go, if you have to go re back into these spaces, that's degradation. Like yeah. these photos, because they're such a world heritage asset, they should be at least in a seed vault, at least there for hundreds of years from now in a safe means of backup. I or mean, like in a time capsule yeah. in space too, like a like, double backup, <laughs> like a, you know, yeah. a triple backup space on Mars, Elon. Yeah, oh, no, so, you know, I'm hoping that someone talks to Elon about this because I know he would love to. I can Elon, never, I can never, I can never pronounce When you word. finish your digital acid trip, yeah. make yeah. sure that you check out <laughs> Simon because he is gonna scan and back up the world. Yeah. And so if you, you know, I think it's pretty important so we can kind of put it in a SpaceX um, well, yeah, a, a front, 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 have it spinning around the sun for a billion years. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Send yeah. it out there with just don't, the just, don't, just, don't, just don't put it in the sun. Put it in the trunk <laughs> of, the, is, of the star man. Space is dangerous though. I mean, you know, it could be like a hole could like 
yeah. appear out of nowhere. Throw some Bowie yeah. on. Throw space sand. Put it in the fucking trunk. Yeah. And send it yeah. off there in case Martians need to revisit. Yeah. yeah. And this is yeah. important stuff. I mean, in, on Earth. Yeah. 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 So, you know, you've got vet component. The artist gets paid. Uh, studios and everyone else gets these amazing assets. Our deep learning processes allow the stuff to be quickly processed and turned into things that are usable and actionable. Um, we obviously, as, as a develop, as a Kodak company, like we really say we are the new Kodak. And when I say Kodak, I mean the film company. People are like, oh, but I should have worn my Kodak jacket. And, and today. People, but people, <laughs> people, 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 people are like, well, didn't they go bust? And I'm like, yeah, but they lasted a hundred fucking years. Yeah. Come and on, and they're like, legendary yeah. in the capture but it's, it's space. what they did. They allowed the photo. They allowed this is a yeah. Kodak. Moment. <laughs> this is Kodak a Kodak. Moment. Jesus, Absolutely. you have you have like Nike just do it and a Kodak yeah. moment. I can't even tell you yeah. how many places there are that have the wooden sign yeah. that says Kodak, Kodak moment. moment. Yeah, well there you go. So, so there you go. Slice, slice of were life. some of the best of the world, yeah. right? They yeah. they innovated so many things to capture visual environments. Yeah, but they allowed I mean, they people to use their own cameras. That was the thing. They they yeah. just became the best at developing the film so and, why are and you mass using producing. That analogy? Because why are you calling that, them Kodak? That's it. They became really good at doing one thing and doing one thing good, which was getting the data and processing in such a way that it came out with the best color, the best quality, the best representation of reality. Yeah. So and send your 3D scans send from your, your send iPhone your photographs X to S, reality which has virtual. a depth sensor yeah. on the back. Yeah. 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 Scan the shit out of iPhone everything well, we don't need and then send we, it to Kodak over here. We don't need that depth sensor anymore. That's what I'm trying to say though. With the deep Not PBR, even. deep physical based rendering, we're extrapolating 3D data from single photographs on every level. Like, so we, we don't even need depth sensors. We could set up a volumetric rig with a few phone cameras now and essentially do 3D extrapolation of the data. Like, you've got to understand how big this is. We're talking about tens of thousands of people losing their jobs in the VFX industry, which I'm really wow. sorry. I do apologize. I, I really am sorry. But it's a shit job, and you know. Well, no, it, like it, no, no. It, seriously, hear what me about out sensor here. makers? It, though, it, what it about depth sensor spend makers? Spend their time on so creative trying, to, of trying, to, in trying, to, trying to draw out light from images yeah. is what you've got a hundred people slaving over. And so I've got my phone right here. I've got my MVP. I can do it in seconds. You can do photogrammetric. I, I can do extract. No, not science. photogrammetry. Real world extrapolation of the uh, fundamentals of a, a scene in an image. So wow. what I literally, you get your roughness map, you get your metallic, you get your displacement, you get your normals, you get your perfect delit diffuse. So have you heard of 6D AI? They're doing computer vision app where it just captures your environment and creates a live mesh of everything. That, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's cool. But this, but, but what you're doing, but it's, it's, it's but like, I got no it's, 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 me. it's like, it's like, it's like, yeah, right. It's like, <laughs> you know, I've seen so much of this and they all come down to the same problem. They're not, you know, so we follow the Tesla model where we build the high end car first. Yeah. And we use that technology to trickle it down. Mm. To the, Guys, the let me, free. let me tell you how much this, this guy has evolved. Uh, it, it, when he says that and he's R and no as money, he goes, probably. the last time when I was on my rock star night with him, <laughs> I was trying to figure out, you know, what are the secrets, right? And he said to me, he said, R G B D, yeah, which is depth, depth. Yeah. right? Yeah, and I, now I don't, I don't need the D anymore. A year and a half. I mean, I've got later, the I've got the D, but I don't you need know the what's D. The secret. <laughs> You don't need the D yeah, anymore. You don't need the D. You anymore. wanted the D. I've, yeah, I've that's what she said. Yeah. Yeah. Now you don't even need the D anymore. You thought you needed the D. Yeah. I ain't got the D. And, and, I, I had and the D. all the investors <laughs> that got the D and invested yeah. in the D. Then, uh, yeah. Watch out. Yeah. Watch out. Yeah. Yeah. Because watch he's out saying depth you sensors know in which they're starting <laughs> to put them on phones. It's starting to be the new tech. Yeah. He's yeah. saying. Not necessary, guys. So the plan yeah. is to basically get everybody's yeah. ownership around what they create. Yeah. Uh, account like accountability uh, that they for them, like over just protecting they the artists, but also you know if it's a win-win for everyone. You know what? Creatives always get fucked. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I would know. The whole know. music industry know. went down. Yeah. yeah. The whole yeah. music industry got fucked. You you make this beautiful music, and then everybody just like streams it yeah. on YouTube yeah. or whatever yeah. the shit. 
Yeah. And, and, and blockchain, blockchain what you're is saying it, is, is, blockchain. is blockchain. So, so I, I don't believe in the blockchain floating the data itself because it's too inefficient and it's too slow, in my opinion, to, right. to actually have but, it use data storage. But that's like what smart contracts storage. is going to solve. But start, you know, for. having proper leg, leg, ledgers, 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 smart uh, ledgers, smart ledgers. So smart, that, no, that's smart weird. contracts, yeah. but like distributed yeah. ledgers. The, 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 yeah, distributed yeah. ledgers. Yeah, distributed yeah. ledgers. That's all we need. We just need a whole bunch of security keys kept in a blockchain. Uh, with the basic uh, I, I, I fifth, you know, you know, camera data information. Mm -hmm. So this camera data information includes what use cases this can be used for. And so if you can't, you can't go off and you, you're legally bound to use it for a certain thing. And if you, you know, by the original artist dictating that. But the thing is, you can have multiple artists doing a certain location. Right. Mm. Some artists might relax versus other artists. And so the system can essentially grab from multiple parties of multiple photographs, multiple individuals, and essentially bundle into one thing that then reality virtual or deep PBR, whoever the fuck we are, actual reality, which is what the actual reality is the processing arm, basically. Reality virtual we're keeping is like a, just a little indie boutique uh, production company in New Zealand that happens to hold a whole bunch of, whole, whole bunch of fucking IP. Um, deep PBR is another company just, just registered in New Zealand, which is going to hold its own individual IP. I'm basically breaking it up into a multiple, multitude of different verticals, mm. um, holding different IP, retaining it all in New Zealand because fucking you try to get us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, try to go. Like, you, 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 you can swim, pal. You swim the ocean, man. The ocean, the ocean got sharks, man. So, you know, you, good hey, luck getting it. We've got sharks out yeah. here in San Francisco. And, and we have, we, right over there by the fire. Yeah. And we have an amazing island. progressive uh, prime minister right now. And so we've been actually scanning uh, the Treaty of Waitangi, which is our constitution and the House of Parliament and a whole bunch of other stuff in New Zealand. So we're, su you know, we were struggling, man, but we're super tight with our government right now. Mm. And our government, we be our government, thing? dude, dude, guys, what happened to Kim.com? Hey. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he he's was just well driving dude. across yeah. green lines. And he's not even a Kiwi. Hundreds of miles. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. a German. Isn't he Estonian or something? No, yeah, it's a German, German who came to New Zealand and like New Zealand was like, New Zealand was like, fuck you, motion picture industry, you know. All right, well, we yeah, got Simon.com yeah. here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Simon, say, yeah. Simon, Simon says. Simon, Simon says. says dot com. Com, yeah. Um, mm. So, anyways, oh God, somebody Simon just says. bought that domain. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I can yeah. just yeah. hear the yeah. GoDaddy yeah. checkout right yeah. as well, I, I'm just ha I'm just happy we got actual reality. I mean, I was high as a kite on a beach. Actual in LA reality? When, you when need to team up with the guy who did, who the, did the, who did yeah. the video. <laughs> well, it's self promotion for us. That's a beautiful if thing. If anything, it's like the same. He might have been experiencing one of your experiences. And everybody's laughing because it looks like he's just mm. looking at real reality. But in fact, he was in Simon's scan the yeah. whole time. Wait, wait, wait. Well, I mean, okay, <laughs> simulation, so, right? You, you know, you yeah, say, you, must, you, say like, Simon, worst nightmare. You, you said Simon Says, which I thought was pretty funny because it reminds me of this uh, little bit of a gag that people have been having. Uh, where they convinced that uh, I'm the creator of the Oasis. Um, because if you watch the holiday, if yeah, you watch holiday. The holiday video holiday, where Holiday's yeah. talking, saying, you know, if I'm dead now, you know, I'm blah, watch blah, blah, Ready blah. Player One, watch the Ready virtual one. reality movie. Have a look it. at what is on. <laughs> Who's the legend in it? Have a look at what is on his jacket. It has a Who's the guy who built everything? Yeah. He has a Simon Says badge on his shirt. Okay, don't miss it. Yeah. Simon and, says. And so everyone's running to go. It's an Are Easter you egg. Holiday? We, your fucking holiday. <laughs> the hair, the badge. And I, I'm just like, I, I'm wondering if someone. It's a, it's a conspiracy. Well, I, I mean, I'm tin foil. I, I, I don't know if it's a conspiracy, man. I'm pretty just. Look, it's, it's people make films and people know the work that we've done. And yeah. these people who make films, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. just. They do their research. One of and our they mates, you, man. One of our mates probably just. One of my friends, who I don't know, but like, Ernest well, Klein. Well, well, think of it this way. This guy. Think, think of it this way. Ernest Klein. That's right. The, 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 the oh, badge shit. for yeah. Oculus Connect, right? Like, I've, Oculus has never given us anything. Like, they haven't even reached out to us. Oculus. Like, yeah, I get an Oculus. Oh. Oculus Five. We're changing. We're changing. This. Free we badge. Got, we yeah. Got yeah. To, uh, Jesus. But, but yeah, I mean, the, the badge thing was weird. Like, I just someone gifted it. Don't know who. Uh, I asked Palmer Lucky. He had me on Facebook a few months ago, and I was like. Can you get me one? He's like, no, sorry. And I'm like, oh, that's okay. I understand. But then and something then it just, arrived yeah, in the mail. Then it arrives the in the day, mail. Yeah. But somehow, so I, I, I think it's some. I saw this yeah. guy walking down the middle of the Oculus demo room yeah. floor. Mm -hmm. And I said, I got to get you on the very first podcast of the Digital Acid yeah, yeah. to and talk about. Because here's here the thing. Here so I'm is. glad you brought in Kodak. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because here's the thing. Virtual reality is yeah. displays. It's the equivalent to the TV. Yeah. But what I'm interested in is the camera. 
And yeah. what you're doing is the capturing of reality. Yeah. And that conversation hasn't been talked about People a lot. People are putting way too much money into hardware, not enough in the content. And the thing is, if we can find a way to process content much more rapidly and faster and accurately uh, and do good extrapolation versus anyone else, then we can offer quick successive content to the market of a quality that is far higher than what we've been seeing today. The biggest problem with VR right now is that the content sucks. There's a whole bunch of yeah. middlemen jumping in between these projects. We haven't been given a good budget yet on any level. Well, I mean, like, a lot of people are like, putting their money on AR, and that's kind of the thing, well, right? It's, like, it's all the friggin' same. It doesn't matter if it's AR, VR, no, you're AR. Right. It doesn't matter. But that's I mean, the thing. Is no, that no, AR kind of subsumes. I'm like, fuck off, XR. I don't care. It's yeah. just... Fuck content. off, XR. Like, really, thing, seriously, guys, go fuck right, yourself. Just keep guys, it VR. Is, what we do right. can be downscaled to whatever thing you want. Let's it, just make it, it simple. It keep, is, it simple yeah, keep it simple, yeah. stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. Simon we're, says keep it simple, stupid. We're agnostic on what our content is used for. It can be used for VFX, it can be used for VR, AR, any of those things. It can be used on a bloody desktop, it can be used as a... As, as a wallpaper on let's just call screen. it alternate reality yeah, okay but that, okay yeah. so so, so Sorry, what I get about, angry about that what are some <laughs> companies that have gotten invested in that that are kind of in this volumetric photogrammetry thing like isn't there like a company like Lytro for example no so I'm not gonna say anything bad about Lytro um, because Lytro recently worked with my good friend Peter Martin oh who, not at who, all who, who I was who, not implied who, who, they did who, what I'm no, just saying no, what are the yeah. other companies yeah, so, in this space but I will be honest capture. about I'll be honest about the technology so I really okay. like that Lytro is doing some really cool stuff right um, you know very recently did this thing with Peter Martin and Justin Timberlake, which was really cool. And I love sleeping Justin on Peter Martin. Justin Timberlake is getting on, I love volume I love sleeping on Peter Martin's couch. He has a house where, where a tree is growing through it. It's amazing. Wait, who does? Oh, my friend Peter Martin in the Hollywood Hills. He's a, Peter Martin in the yeah, Hollywood yeah, yeah, yeah. Hills. So I've been hanging out. Like, Shout literally. out Peter I, I, dude, Martin in like Hollywood a, Hills. I'm like, Seriously, I, I go to LA and I'm just like Pacific Palisades. Hollywood, Hollywood, I Hollywood. It's, a, it's, a, it's always I, a crazy I don't pay, I don't pay for a day. I don't. I didn't pay for a cent of accommodation for like a month because I'm just sleeping on people's couches and it's so appropriate because yeah. in LA you know you got the whole music industry scene and this guy's just couch yeah. surfing doing this volumetric photogrammetry yeah. shit no big yeah. deal guys this is film <laughs> guys but this is film 2.0 yeah, this is the, this no, is the we're, evolution we're of the, the camera. 19, we're in the that's 19, actually why we're in the 1920s right absolutely. now. Absolutely, that's that's and why. And we're just learning how to sync audio with moving pictures. Exactly. I mean, that's why yeah. I got into VR. I was like, look, I wanted to be a filmmaker when I was a kid. But you know what's important? It's what's yeah. important is storytelling in the newest medium possible. Absolutely. So what we're talking about here is actually capturing reality and then being able to leave it forever yeah. to be re-experienced. And re by future generations, yeah, by exactly. anybody, and then there you have the holodeck. I mean, this is this is you're talking about like the. I don't. I, we can talk about this a bit later if we want to drag it out a bit longer. But yeah. you can always you, you can you can edit you can you can edit we can edit keep on going. Yeah, you, can, you can jump it back and forth. I got it. Um, Let's do it. So you know, if you watch an episode of Star Trek: Next Generation, you know they, they, they go to the holodeck and they, they want to go to a 1920s like experience of something, right? Right. So where we're getting with this. It's because we've got all this information and layers of fill, um, filled, filled up. We can essentially recreate realities that we've lost already using old data sets that are not complete. So we're doing Christchurch Cathedral. We got destroyed in the 2011 earthquake of New Zealand. You got and a so, what? Uh, Christchurch Cathedral, biggest earthquake in New Zealand, wiped out 70% of our uh, second largest city, Christchurch. And you can somehow recreate this? So we have put out the idea that basically anyone who has wedding photos, anything, feed us everything they have of Christchurch Cathedral. Oh, and you can recreate a scene based off We're of old photos. photos. Yeah, using those photos. Oh doing, my doing God. one better. Yes, we're your doing, family doing, photos. Doing, doing, you doing, doing, do yeah. reverse engineering. But doing one better, yeah. we use, oh those, we use those same photos. We use those same photos to train the neural network to enhance those same photos. What? So you're doing what Facebook was trying to do. Was uh, trying uh, what they like announced last on year. stage. Yeah, like it's not even year. possible for them yet, or supposedly. <laughs> but they're they're finding a way to work it in. You're you've already done it. Well, oh. we're, we're we're working on it. I mean, look, it's it's okay. it's the it's, it's, it's the you're working. I always on. talk okay, about cool. this is a, a terrible thing of mine. I always talk about things as if I've already done it. Right. But the, um, the near. But the future. thing is, then I do it. Mm -hmm. That's the weird thing. So mm -hmm. I'm like, I, I believe in mental projection. Yeah. Um, Beyond I, that, uh, yeah. he has the intention to do it. <laughs> yeah, my intention is it becomes the means. It. Yeah, you put a fucking yeah. Yeah. anything in the way. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You, oh, I don't have you, sight. You, you, I'm gonna fucking make the most realistic shit you ever seen. I can't talk. I'm gonna fucking go to the fucking. You're gonna learn how to talk. I'm gonna go to the radio, and I'm gonna fucking and I'm gonna make. And become a oh, singer and release three albums. I'm gonna make fucking whole band by myself. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. MacGyver. 
Oh, and I love MacGyver. I was a huge fan. Oh, who does? Yeah. That so was one of my gum. What am I first memories? MacGyver, 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 MacGyver and Night Rider. Yeah. MacGyver and Night Rider were my things, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a fucking see, 80s child. But now, that was now I see yeah. him like on the floor eating the cheeseburger drunk, and I just can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. Well, that was Night Rider. Night Rider, yeah. Yeah, well, but we 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 we're all human, honestly, and that's something I want to really acknowledge is that we are all human. People put us on this crazy pedestal. And it's silly because, you know, we all right. have faults. Well, yeah. You know, yeah, as they yeah. say, And that's guys, why collaboration guys, guys, is... What you've got to realize, though, and this is one thing I've learned in life, is uh, I have the inability to understand what authority is. And so a class system for me, I don't get swayed by, I guess you would say, important people. Sure. Because at the end of the day, as everyone knows, the queen shits. The queen... Even says, the queen... Yeah. Even the queen shits. Even the queen... Yeah. has diarrhea mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's the truth yeah the people that you respect they shit themselves yeah it yeah, happens yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. message of tonight that's, yeah, yeah. If, if we if there's you kids if you walk follow away through. with <laughs> any lesson tonight is yeah. remember that everyone has shit themselves at least yeah. once yeah yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> including yeah. the queen yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> on that note, I don't really know what the segue is right now. No, no. Well, uh, I mean, we. I was going to talk about our well, blue sky thing. Blue sky. But, like, okay, so okay. here's. Or, the thing. or we can happily, I can what happily bag on a few companies if you want. What is leading <laughs> up to? Why? Okay, we're we're yeah. capturing yeah. Yeah. we're capturing people as they are, like uh, in volumetric places, spaces, faces. You're capturing people, and, yep. and, and oh, actually, let's talk about this for a quick second because I think it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. So. So as we're capturing people, you can reanimate people hypothetically mm -hmm. with AI and stuff, mm -hmm. but you're doing these realistic captures of, let's say, let's say Morgan Friedman, okay? Yeah, yeah, and so it, we can we can build on that, which is really interesting. So there's this hypothesis that I, I have, but I haven't done it yet, but essentially it's style transfer of a human. A style so transfer of, of a human? Of a human. So basically we could film an actor under an RGBD situation, not that we need the D anymore, but would yeah. the RGBD anyway. Don't need the D. It's always better to have ground trips rather than not ground trips. I mean, it's good to have the D. Yeah, it's good to have the D once in a while. But you, you don't yeah. necessarily always need the D. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. The D uh, is complimentary. Right, right. <laughs> the D is always welcome, but not so always we're necessary. Trying, we're trying See, to this capture is why environments I'm here. sued in America, guys. Honestly. <laughs> I, I know. Luckily, I have to, you have I'm New talking Zealand about depth, go back to guys. I live in get New your mind yeah. out of the gutter. The word is depth. Though. Yeah, depth, yeah. guys. As depth, in depth like, sensors, <laughs> that Microsoft Connect, depth whatever well. whatever D you're thinking <laughs> yeah. about, that's not what we're talking about. All yeah, right, guys? Yeah. Jeez. Okay, anyways. We're trying to have a good okay. Off the so subject the, the, the of The idea RGB is essentially D. you film an artist doing a bad thing. D? Um, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. Doing a whole bunch of poses and movements for about 10, 20 minutes. And because we have... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, pose estimation and all that kind of stuff, mm. which is a term for knowing how someone's holding themselves, right. you can essentially get someone else in the scene and have them do a, 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 a skit or whatever, and right. you actually recreate the original actor doing the poses right. of your, yeah. your, so in, your, your intern can be Madonna or anyone for the day. Oh, wow. Wait. Um, so we're able to, huh? we're, Sorry. We're, we're able to, if someone's what? time, okay, so someone's time is money, right? So you want to, you know, shoot a sure. whole entire movie. We just need you for someone. 15 minutes. We just minutes. need you for 15 minutes. You we'll jump capture in. you. We'll and then capture we you from every you angle. For eternity. And then we can, <laughs> we will buy the rights to use you, you know, on a Which, minute by minute basis. There's a movie, I believe, called The Senator of the Congress. Sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's about a, an actress giving away right, yeah. her her eternal yeah. rights to her likeness. She's yeah. captured yeah. in a volumetric yeah. studio. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. It's yeah. it's it's not. Is it Glenn Close? It's not Glenn Close. It's no, um, it's it's, um, it's a girl from uh, the, the woman from House of Cards. Mm, mm. Uh, you know, um, love House of Cards. She's also the well, Princess Bride. Seasons. The Princess Bride. That's that should be yeah. her first credit. She was the original Princess Bride, and she plays this character in a movie where um, she gets captured. Harvey Keitel basically mm. convinces her to capture herself <laughs> in 3D. Yes, walk her through it so that she can make enough money to take care of her kids because she's in the story. She's a washed up actress and yeah. it's very wow. kind of close up to her story before House of Cards. God, where I she see was, this movie now. So, so, yeah. well, well, it's well, so good. The, the well, actress John I'm talking Hamm, about is John Hamm plays a character in it is, too, by the way. Is the gorgeous Robin Wright. Robin Wright. That's that's so. Let's name. get it right. Okay. Robin Wright. Get it right. Get it right. So check it out. 
um, that film. But so what we're talking about is scanning in people, yeah. actors, actresses. Yep. And this yeah. is already happening in LA, yep. by the way. Yep. There yep. are Intel but, capture yeah. studios. Yeah, well, I mean, right. like, look, so, yeah, and we're, here we're, too we're, in San Francisco, obviously. We're, sure. we're, we're, we're super tight with Metaverse. We love those guys. Right. Um, oh. I mean, sorry, Metastage, not Metaverse. Metastage. I don't know. Okay. Me- Metaverse is um, Alan's. Alan Smith is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah we, we. Shout we, out, Alan. We, we, <laughs> Alan I, out dude, there in, when uh, am I going to. So when am I going to come to Vancouver and scan those weed plants of yours? So, you know, like, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me and yeah. Alan have been meaning to meet up, so now that I know he's got the Yeah, no, nah, we're, we're, we're on, we're, we're on, on my dude, way. We're on speed dial, I, man. Oh. We, 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 you know, we talk. You know, I mean, on yeah, LinkedIn, yeah. we're friendly. And I need to, I definitely need to go so, out there. There's the, a lot the, of the weed plants just sealed I mean, There's the deal. a lot of crossover the tonight yeah. with the weed plant yeah. thing because British, I mean, British yeah. Columbia. We were, you know, I was talking to Ed Rosenthal. He wanted to do some video around it. You know, Ed Rosenthal, for those of you who don't know, is is like a guru when it comes to growing weed. But, right. But he uh, was like, ah, oh, VR, photogrammetry? I don't know. I need some video. But, but imagine going into like, a master grower's yep. garden. Yeah, it'll be pretty and cool. And hear what they have to say. Yeah, yeah. About I mean, I'll, how to grow I'll, things. Where do know? I start, man? Like, so, um, I will, I'll tell you. I mean, I, 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 I can kind of talk about this, um, but kind of not. So, um, <laughs> let's tell us. Uh, do your best. Uh, Just say what you can. Uh, and not what Vince, you can. Vince Bragg, amazing guy, a beautiful African American dude, phenomenal man of story and character. You know, had a really big run in with you know um, his life story, and he, he, he talks about this in, in, in the media. So I think I can talk about it. You know, okay. he, he was dealing thirty million dollars worth of coke oh, uh, well. and all that kind of jazz, oh, yeah, yeah. and got you know got got sentenced to like twenty years, and he basically rebuilt himself in jail for five years, got out early. Uh, he's now a leading figure, and you know, basically rehabilitation of reincarnated you know, mm. individuals. Mm. And yeah, like he's, he's, you know, we're hanging out in the, you know, we're hanging out at, um, um, not the Hollywood Hills, but you know, further out, Malibu or whatever. Fuck. Undisclosed. Called. Yeah, location. yeah, undisclosed location. Um, Secret. How, you know, and we're just talking about, you know, Base. how important, <laughs> how important it is to capture environments of, uh, you know, old school New York and all that, and have these people talk about their, 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 their touch of with death and their, mm. their life with cr- crime and how they. Rehabilitated themselves to essentially like get out of it. I mean, I, I I can relate. I mean, I came from a you know small town Levin, which Levin, New Zealand, which has the second highest crime rate in our country. Okay. Uh, but you know, I hanged out with all the gang members. Right. I was that little weird white kid that was well, hanging out. Earlier, that was that's... hanging out of the Mangle Mob and like uh, yeah. you know <laughs> Highway 61s and all these other cats and like didn't think twice about it. You know. Yeah. I, I, was, I was I've always been. Um, What's the word a- agnostic? Even when it comes to like the, the, the company I keep, right. <laughs> you know, and religious <laughs> yeah, concepts yeah, and all yeah. the rest of it. Keep but diverse company. You sure. know, that's where it's important. So the way we see this, the philanthropic. I can never pronounce that word. Philanthropic. Philanthropic. Yeah, yeah you got I've it. I've been I've been trying time. to learn that for like three weeks now. <laughs> philanthropic. <laughs> uh, the idea off. is that <laughs> we encourage parties who have means of wealth and income to essentially be the parties that fund the exploration of Antarctica and get their names in the history books of time, which is essentially what we're doing right now. These slice of life experiences, these capturing of people's stories, these are the history books of time 50 years from now. Yeah. And you, so you had a shitty yeah. little book on your desk. Yeah. And now schools and institutions yeah, yeah, yeah. are investing in getting VR gear. But uh, we, we, a let, la we, let, we, let the, we let the people who are well off essentially pay for the documentation of these stories because yeah, yeah. they like want history, to. They want to keep their legacy. History has already been said by the by the the highest class or the yeah. the winners write history, right? And yeah, now it's yeah. our chance to actually write our own history. Yeah. But on top of that, the artists do get paid. Yeah, which is an important exactly. thing. Um, Kodak will do really well. Is, I won't lie. I, 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 I be, I've, the, the bite of capitalism has kind of sucked me in just a tad. <laughs> the more I spend in America, well, it's inevitable. I, dude, I mean, I'm, I'm a Bernie. Can't beat him. You got to I'm a him, Bernie right? socialist. Okay, and I'm proud of it. Like I'm, I'm heavily progressive and one hell of an anarchist and an activist. To be perfectly definitely honest. an anarchist. Yeah. That's... And so, but in saying that, <sighs> if there's a way to get a job done that needs to be done, and it's not going to be just funded by the, the just the fact that it should be funded. Yeah. Then you just gotta do what you gotta do. Right. Well, you're I mean, in the right space for this. You, so. We just need money for all the toys, all mm. the 
all the the depth sensors or not, all the <laughs> AI or yeah. not, all the cloud we, storage or do not. The research depending for you. Yeah, on yeah. when you watch this, because everything that we say a year from now, Simon will have already moved on from. Right. right. So you know, we're explaining this really incredible, difficult technique to, to achieve that people don't even know what he's achieving yeah. yet. We're, yeah. Yeah. Explain yeah. photogrammetry. We have to explain volumetric still. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I try and explain the deep PBR things, and people keep on thinking I'm just talking about photogrammetry. I'm like, no, I've moved on. Well, okay, well, when you say PBR, I'm yeah. thinking about, like, well, a, a, a beer. A beer. I know everyone's, everyone's so. when I talked about deep PBR on Facebook, everyone sent me the pictures of that beer. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a thing. So I'm like, okay, deep physics-based rendering, guys, not deep beer. <laughs> <laughs> I need, like, okay, so we're going to, in, in post, we'll, 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 we'll Photoshop. Yep, 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 throw the beer on. A, a beer. <laughs> From with a beer, the proper beer. label on it. Yeah, deep PBR. I don't know. Deep like, PBR. You type that in the Google image and see what you guys get. I don't so, want to know. So, to be what did you say again? Post what? Say it again. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if he got that. That was so wrong. No, we got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so, yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah. Cut yep. that. Cut that. Yep, we got that's that. The shit that's gonna get me in trouble. Um, oh, that's all beep. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, look. I, uh, we should probably take another break in a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Right now, why don't we? quickly go over what's possible once we get past this preliminary point. Well, okay, so yeah, we were talking about the, the blue sky thing, right? Yeah. What are we okay, doing? Like, so, well, why are we doing like, this? I didn't quite what finish that story, but in Do Star it. Trek yeah. Next Generation, yeah. uh, they have the holodeck and they're doing 1920s San Francisco and it's basically like, hey, you know, computer, can I have a, a scene of a bar in 1920s San Francisco? And the computer's like, hey, we, Brian. Hey, Brian, exactly. And the computer's like, hey, uh, we can do that 76% accurately based on the information that we have. And, you know, we'll fill in the gaps. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're, we're, we're going to do. And so uh, the, the concept is this, that we could take a single photograph of anything and it creates a world from it. Wow. And you can walk around a single yep. photograph in that because single the photograph AI creates a has, world well, based on its contextual understanding of right. what it's seeing okay. and all the other photographs that yeah. it's seen in the past with similarities and relations. Uh, I don't know if you ever saw. Um, I was a big, big, big fan of. Uh, oh my god, I've got it. Um, um, uh, brain uh, Red Dwarf. Red, Red Dwarf. Dwarf. It was, was a, a TV, or? an English TV show, oh. English TV series huh. in the early yeah, 90s. It was, 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 was pre-Deep Space Nine, I mean pre-Star Trek Next Generation. Uh -huh. Really fucking cool. It was a comedy, a space comedy. But there's this one episode where they, they have, they're able to teleport inside these photographs. Yeah. And they, they, they're calling it real life. And so the photograph, they're able to just like... God. And so the thing is, once you get... Conti conti I mean, when we look at a photograph, we can uh, imagine and yeah. dream what would be in there. But that's, that's but that, that's no different than what we're teaching the computers right now. Like literally, yeah. we're teaching the computers to dream. Okay, and, so wait, so so are we in a photograph right now? No. Well, I mean, he's Most asking likely. if we're already, already in a simulation. In a, I, I, I don't no. want to emphasize how much I am convinced that Elon Musk and others are correct that we are in a simulation. You I, know what I think? I absolutely, dude. I see, uh, honestly, I see live LED culling in my life. So I see objects pop up, thinking that. I didn't look fast enough, and so it just didn't appears later that like the game engine was delayed. The way I think yeah. of it is that, is that he brought it up because it's propaganda, honestly. They, no, they no. want us. They want us to think that it's already possible, and therefore, if we do it, it yeah, might as well. Man, you might as well accept yeah, it because no, it's already no, been no, done. No. Think but about the trailer there's movies. Nothing, there's so nothing wrong with exclusive guys, 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 and nineteen eighties about virtual reality, and that's the kind of when we wake up our brains and shit, yeah. and then all of a sudden we reachieve it again. And like, imagine it's the Tower of Babel, you know, just yeah, like yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a dream inside a dream inside a dream, and like, so you know, I, I wrote a, I wrote a song about this back in like um, ninety nine. It was called Corrupt and Immoral, and. You know, it's like, you know, I had a it's dream inside a dream inside a dream. So, I mean, it was played on the radio. So I also did Falling Towers two months, two months before Falling Towers happened, but we won't get into that. <laughs> okay. Uh, like, literally, it was a song we called Falling to Towers. That, yeah. It was wow. like, yeah, it's, it's insane. I'm, I'm a fucking weird bastard. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> we love it, though. But, you know, honestly, like, because we were in the Fight Club movement at the time, like, mm. Fight Club was a big thing. David we, Fincher, we, man. What everyone, dude, capitalism director. was about to be on the way out. And Chuck Palahniuk. And then I that shit happened, which is horrible shit, don't get me wrong, but capitalism was on the way out when like 2000 2001 you had popular films like fight club talking about the mm. you know everything being reset to zero Interesting. and then look at what i mean you had metal gear solid with their game and that all, snake snake yeah all that yeah, shit that like the was, shell corporation the whole entire lot it was yeah. in the popular 
That's Air Force. Fair. It was in the popular Air Force, and it got wiped the fuck out because of the event. And then we got the Patriot Act, and we got a whole bunch of like, right. we, we lost 15 years of progressive gone. socialism, basically. You as, know? As we speak, yeah. net neutrality does not exist. Yeah. So I, 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 yeah. Where do we start on how many reasons why my next plane is going to explode? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, I'm, know, not, I'm serious. Like, I, 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 mean, not I scare to... myself. <laughs> <laughs> Play it again, play it again for the microphone. Yeah, that was what? Cool. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Play, play it again for the microphone. Play what? The noise. <laughs> what noise? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the... I love it, I love it. I just got it, I just got it. <laughs> I just, oh my god. Oh my god. Flashback, man. Oh, I've been snapped. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Wait, I had to do it. Oh, that's too good. You know, I had oh. to. Snake, where are you? Oh, that's too good, that's too good. Because I, I, I heard it and I so recognized it, but I just, I wasn't really like. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> I love okay. that game. That's okay. one of the few games that I played as a child, you know? Yeah, um, no, it was it, good. It, it blew my mind at the time. And that's maybe what's causing this conversation right now. Like these, these uh, great early, early day, Early thinkers. day influences, man. Like, pop seriously. culture. Pop well, culture. Yeah. For, for me, it was Amiga. Amiga, the computer. And yeah. My parents mm. had to buy that machine when I was seven years old in good the late 80s. Good fucking job, right? Yeah. If it wasn't for that computer that was known for essentially music and graphics and all mm. that stuff. So, you know, I first started writing music like when I was nine on, on ST Tracker. The computer for creatives. Yeah, it really was. I mean, it was yeah. the thing that allowed me to understand how to not use one specific thing, but use everything. So then then after that, I think um, there's another computer company that took this approach. Um, in, in, I would say in the early beginning with the Hello, which is yeah. addressing the creatives and the editors, which Hello is Apple. World? Yeah, Hello World, Apple, uh, right? Yeah, but, the, yeah. but you have your I actually like Hello World, the, the, the drawing, right? Well. Yeah. But. but then um, I think there's another, which they're 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 all musicians, and the, all the head advisors are are uh, you know. Are you talking about what I I'm, think you're talking about? I'm right talking now? about Magic Leap. And Magic those Leap. Those guys are ex music and creatives. Are they making the computer for the creatives? I feel well, like you that's fucking the hope message. so for two point five billion dollars, which is what I'm gonna say. But honestly, I don't know why people feel like they need to reinvent the wheel. And this is the thing that really angers me. Hmm. Reinvent We've already the wheel? Re well, everyone's like, we need to make everything. So what we do is we essentially make relationships with people, right? And use if I've got something like you know we work with Unreal Engine because we love Unreal Engine, and they saved me from bankruptcy and basically taking my life. Thank you, like, Unreal. Like literally, like I can't <laughs> mean that enough. I was literally at my wit's end. I was isolated in New Zealand, no one understands me, I'm stuck on the doll, and if it wasn't for them just fucking throwing some fucking love, well, that's great. I, I would have just given up. And, and there's more to come, I mean, honestly, yeah. like, this, yeah. this is just the beginning, I mean, to yeah. think that this is not yet public knowledge, like, what's possible nowadays, yeah. you yeah. know what right. I mean? But like, yeah. we're yeah. trying to bring the message out there, but also just to know that there is a future that we all know exists, yeah. and they're yeah. doing, well, I've they, seen, seen whoever they are, <laughs> are doing what they can to sort of yeah. take what's left before yeah. Yeah. things totally get But that, that's the thing, like, don't know? make a hold, uh, if anyone else uses the term platform to me, I'm going to yeah. smack them in the face. <laughs> Honestly, like I'm so glad guys, I didn't say don't that. Don't walk earlier, up to yeah. him and say platform. Guys, we right. already don't have do it. like look, we already have Steam. I mean, like so. Like, I mean, I, yeah. and these guys, that, that, some of these guys are my sponsors, and so it's really hard for me to talk about this. But you know, I'm gonna keep it straight. Like you know, I I, I love these guys, but don't you know, like like you know, HTC made their own Vive port, and you know, other parties are talking about making their own platform. I'm like, guys, you don't need platforms. You need fucking content. Yeah. Mm. And like whoever ends up like you can go direct market like how Epic have done and with, you know uh, I should know the name of the company you know not the, the game the big game Which Epic game? went direct with uh, their their main title um, but what oh you're what, talking about um, Fortnite Fortnite yeah yeah oh yeah so that's that's and look everybody knows Fortnite game <laughs> V game so that's great they went direct market and you can do that and but just use the platforms that are already good and supported. Focus on. Don't reinvent well, who, the who wheel. Who cares if you lose thirty percent of your thing? Right. Stop with the walled garden. Is yeah, what you're exactly, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Open it up. It, okay. Open it up. The future is WebXR. The future is. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 You're, you're fucking right on the nail there. So my good friend Liam, love you, buddy. Liam uh, in Los Angeles, probably the What's only up? person I've met who <laughs> actually made me feel mentally challenged. Uh, on this planet for at least six months. And no offense, guys, you guys are all very bright, but like this guy scared me. Like I was like, 
<laughs> fuck, I felt like yeah, the, I, 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 burn right I, there. I, I like that. felt like the, du- the, the right dumbest here. person in the room when I was around oh, that guy, man. and I fucking loved it. It is humbling and it's wow, nice. Yeah. Well, we got to take yeah. a trip out there. Yeah. 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 So the, he's cool, and he, he's come cool. on our podcast because if Dude, you make this Liam, guy feel dumb, yeah, Liam, make me feel dumb. Yeah. No, <laughs> Liam. Liam is insane. So he's got life scope and um, all this other crazy shit. Um, where life it's scope. essentially an, it's a data acquisition of your life and every detail from every uh, network that you can imagine. It gives you a way of visualizing what? and knowing where you've been, what you've done. That's so why we are talking is he wants to use our technology to essentially virtualize all these spaces. And these people we go to with their cameras and all that data that we can acquisition mm. from and essentially recreate realities from past times wow. mm. from this point onwards, guys. So I imagine 2018 becomes the year that we start backing up reality. Yeah. On a daily basis. Okay. Send it to Kodak. Right. Yeah. So this makes a case for collective memory, okay? Yes. This is a yes. super important yeah. concept because yeah. never before has it been possible. I love to how we swear we're gonna pause and no, we just we can just <laughs> no, you continue. Go. go, 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 but I need another beer. That's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so but anyways, collective memory is super important. Never before was it possible to capture history as it was yeah. visually at least yeah. and much more i mean biometric data yeah, i mean this is everything. just the beginning Heartbeats, of, fucking, of a crazy uh, who you hung future. out with so, what the temperature was that day all these elements can be refed into an engine we're, we're talking life. about this so that yeah. you guys know what uh, what to think as in you can make come to your own conclusions but we're bringing this up because it's important to think about it and if you don't it might happen before e- you can. even more bizarre than that yeah Simon can capture a space yeah, yeah. and then relight it as nighttime. Yeah. Yeah. And it was yeah, daytime. Yeah. And then that distorts our actual memories of that space anyway. Right. But it's protected under the blockchain so people can't fuck with history. Yeah. And so history Don't currently is written by the people who won history. Yeah, but this so now this new concept of history yeah. recording essentially means that we've got a verifiable record of what actually happened. Right. Which makes a world a hell of a lot. I mean, let's not even let's not even talk like I have a saying. Uh, yeah. It's hard to find a bigot who travels the world. Mm. So, <laughs> like, that's not, I, I made it up like a month ago. I'm, I'm sticking with it. It's like one of my fucking things. You put it on my fucking. It's hard. Hard to find a bigot. A bigot. Yeah. Hard to find a bigot who travels. It's hard the world. to it's find like, a bigot that travels, that the, travels world. the world. So what I mean by that is like, look, if we start encapsulating these spaces and blah blah blah, people can't start jumping in. So you know, I've been asked to go to Israel. I've been asked to go to Cape Town. I've been asked to go to all these like locations of religious sensitivity. I, I had I had a BBC guy ask me to go and scan like these caves in Iraq that an ISIS you know, prison of war had discovered? discovered where they discovered a lost city, city underneath Iraq. What? A yeah, lost yeah, yeah, city yeah, yeah, yeah. underneath Iraq? So I don't know, Iraq? I'm pretty sure that's public knowledge, so I think we Iraq? can get away with saying it. But you know, I, 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 once, again, sure. I, once again, I felt like saying, you, you realize I'm blind, right? <laughs> like, you know, like, uh, yeah. going to Iraq, your shit, what's going on? <laughs> I mean, there's um, so much stuff that, yeah. that's underground right now. Yeah. And like, yeah. like archaeology is a big theme through what we're talking about right yeah. now, even yeah. though we haven't made it like explicit. Yeah, but, well, but, but it is. It is. It's but archaeology is huge. Yeah, and like, burns. there's, yeah. There's people yeah. tr- flying through the air looking at these uh, structures that didn't that we didn't know existed until now. Yeah, yeah. And now we have a multitude of ways to capture these environments, uh, in, in with photogrammetry, yeah, yeah. and so on. And so I can't wait to talk more about this. Okay, let's okay. take a, we're, we're a break. Wrapping up, guys. Yeah. We're going for we beer. are burning we up the studio cooking. right now. The cooking. mic is on fire. We've <laughs> got Simon <laughs> Shea de Bur. The bar. The bar. The bar. It the looks bar. good. On and we are here, Sebastian from the Digital Asset. We've got Jesse, Jesse Van Fleet. Bang, bang. And we are killing it out here day after OC5. And we are we are fucking making some shit happen today. So <laughs> this is this is this is the capturing yeah. of the capture. Yeah, there's so much more to talk about. Actual reality uh, in reality, reality, which experience in virtual reality. We've got a lot more to say on the subject, so we'll do that soon. Uh, Watch me cool down. Catch us uh, in a bit. All and right. Remember, cool bananas. This, this, this podcast is brought to you by Photogrammetry, <laughs> and remember, it's always better with deep learning. All right. Peace out. It's kind of alarming when you go look at the New Zealand's like safety website because they're kind of like, you know, I'm going to get kidnapped or something. So I've been wondering if I should get my hair cut or like grow a beard so I fit in a bit more. <laughs> but, you know, uh, no, look, Egypt is, it's been for a bit recently. And so I think it's good that we're doing what we're doing, you know, capturing the sites. I joked years ago about how we would go scan the pyramids in Egypt when I first got into this and ends up being literally our first gig. Incredibly unprepared, freaking out, hate traveling, hate flying, um, going solo, which is a little nerve-wrenching. 
I'm running on about 38 hours sleep. All that gold, so I'm just exhausted. Um, <laughs> everyone here thinks I'm like a Tiberian. Yeah, that's probably why I haven't been sleeping much for the last few days. <laughs> Getting a few hours a night, just, yeah, nerves, nerves are shot. Shot, I, I, but you know, but if you're not nervous and you're, you're not challenging yourself, the only way you progress is by, you know, not, I wouldn't say by fear, but progress by a sense of not quite, you know, achieving to the level of standard that you believe you could achieve at. So, you know, you overcompensate. Yeah, but it's a good thing. Well, I mean, it's like saying how is film or how is any kind of medium that comes about pr progression of technology. Uh, you know, we won't really know what level of, of play it has until it has made itself indispensable. VR has the avenue to be far more compelling. I can tell you this, you know, on traditional mediums, you can't experience on VR because of the empathy factor. Like, certain things are just too grueling, too intense, you know. Um, we have become... Uh, detached from there to be war-torn areas and all that like if I was to throw you in VR and into the streets of Aleppo trust me um, you, you know people would stop going to war okay welcome back guys uh, we're bringing back <laughs> Simon and Sebastian <laughs> This like, is that me being an asshole? Uh, no. Like, you're fucking because I'm just like, you're beautiful. I mean, you're what do you want to do? I want to do you. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do Hotel California. <laughs> I can't, I can't read the text, Welcome but I'll do you. Welcome to Hotel <laughs> California. Alright, guys, okay. <laughs> Everyone's going to know we've had a few bits. <laughs> it's like, it's going to yeah. be those weird cutscenes. And we're back. And we're back. And we're back. We're back. Okay, okay. We didn't smoke. All right, yeah. okay. All right. All right. I'm, only, I'm only three beers down and, and a little okay, bit. We're good. Break, so. Hey, hey, but you said New Zealand strong. You said you could drink all night. Maybe I'm pretending to be drunk. Maybe I'm pretending to be drunk. I think you're tripped yeah. out by the digital acid a bit. I'm just a bit overwhelmed. I, 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 yeah, we, I, I, I agree. We trip, we yeah. trip, you know? Fuck, we what a conversation trip. we have. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and then have a, t- a procedural texture generation of artifacts and tombs based on its understanding of what a tomb is. Mm-hmm. And so when you have when you have a t- <laughs> are we, are yeah. we listening so to uh, we, what we're that? listening to blockchain karaoke right yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> people are clearly <laughs> fucked up. Uh, well, yeah. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like deep about this. These are I'm the like, uh, I'm guys. I'm this is like Irish like brand. I'm hearing, I'm hearing this is comedy. like uh, Irish way, band. Band. realities. Yeah. Z- I'm hearing zombie. Zombie, but, is zombie you know is, yeah. but no, it's Tommy. It's Tommy, guys. It's not zombie. But, I always thought it was zombie as well. But it's the but, but the algorithms in which yeah. scan for copyrighted material okay, so, can't pick this up because this is an original cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is me. That's Catch exactly, you dude. That's exactly the demonetize point that face. That's yeah, the point right. I'm right now. So. That's if, an you, if, if you have a child who looks at the world hmm. and looks at things and then decides to paint a picture of the things that child has seen, that you can't copyright. It could right. be an extremely close if representation. It's your own experience. It might not be the ground truth, but it's a close representation. So as soon as you train a network on data and ask it to come up with its own hypothesis, all of a sudden it's irrelevant. And that's the beautiful. Here, that's that's the situation we're in. So we here's can, we, what I'm really we, interested in. Yeah. Imagine people who are going to re-experience that same place for generations, yeah. forever. They can go the back. The idea to these is places. this. The idea is this, man. I don't think we're quite grasping what we're talking about here. We're talking about the, the concept of a memory, a memory, yeah. which is literally what we're doing with these machines. It was so subjective. We are before, creating. Now we are creating. Objective almost. We are creating memories from observation, yeah. which yeah. means that legally the copyright is void. Like, doesn't like if you feed a child a thousand pictures of Nefertari's tomb, and then recreate a concept of a memory of what it interpreted from that, all of a sudden. You have something that they can't go. Well, that's Nefertari's tomb. You can say, actually, no, it's not Nefertari's tomb. It's actually a memory Imagine, of someone walking around Nefertari's yeah. tomb ha. and remembering what it was. Yes. Ha. And so that's where this gets exciting. Right. Is that we can have all the cell phones in the world right now, essentially acquisitioning the data. Right. But none of it is actually technically original work. Right. It's a conceptual idea of what it thinks. Right, and there's a uh, positive it, things that yeah, make right, yeah, that yeah. reality. Wow. Yeah, right? yeah. so you, you see what I'm saying. So yeah. we, we void the, the copyright issue, which quite frankly has been has been void, in my opinion, for you know, many decades. And, yeah, and, yeah. It's, and it's really become just so difficult with everything just amassing at this yeah. exponential and, 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 and rate. And you know what? How it's can a, you eat and it? And you know what? It's okay, and it's well overdue, and thank fucking God. That's what I'm going to say, honestly. Like, I, I'm not happy with the system that we live in. It's bullshit. Absolutely. But you know what? Yeah. It's, well, no. it's, it's the future generations newer. that are going to fix this. Yeah. 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 And that's why I want to speak to them. Because... Well, you, because technically you are. <laughs> well, we are. We are. We are speaking to them. No, but like, like, so you know how I tell you I think about things a year ahead as hypothesis and then actually Im- implement? That's the thing. You yeah. Know, quite frankly, yeah. you are. These are not... Conceptual Design. ideas of science fiction. These are things that yeah. are happening right now. Design they, just haven't, they just haven't happened yet. It's stranger than fiction. Yeah, no shot. Sure. Because I, I love that film, by the way. It's actual, <laughs> actual <laughs> reality. <laughs> With Will Ferrell. It's actual reality. Nicole yeah. Kidman. I'm just thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so um, funny. Yeah. So we're, we're gonna have to try and wrap up this because we got yeah. karaoke in another room. Jeez, I'm right. hearing um, like this. Is, this is the end of the night. In the background. I know. This, this is how it okay, goes okay. down in the blockchain yeah. AI VR MR world. Emerging tech bizarro blockchain uh, <laughs> yeah, podcast yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine the end of this. Anyways, yeah, but let's wrap this up. Um, um, yeah, I mean, like, there's not really much else I need to say apart from the fact that um, we are watching a huge amount of resource go to essentially some, um, a bunch of companies yeah, are yeah. throwing out resources that are actually going to nothing. Yeah. Right. And no, we've got, we've everything got we have actual... done, it, this whole entire conversation we've had, all the technologies I hold in my pocket right now yeah. and I have as my sleeve is IP Holdings, the company in New Zealand, yeah. we did on nothing more than over $100,000 over the last two years. So just so, think about yeah, that. Just to, think about that. To be just clear, think about look, that if you while need something paying, to invest in, this yeah. would be it. Uh, well, you know, I just, mean, I'm I, sick I of reckon- what, I'm, I'm watching people having sushi dinners where they spend more, <laughs> or hosting elaborate parties about their startup right. where they're spending more on their elaborate. Okay, than so the I was at this party recently in Hollywood Hills. Itself. Seriously, yeah. I, I had to say this. I was, I was at this party at Hollywood Hills where the party itself 
the cost of the party and hosting. They had guys, they had CEOs flying in from Cisco. You know, I met Kim, who's the CTO of um, Epic Games. I met the guy from Fortnite. Like, it was a great party, don't get me wrong. But that party, <laughs> that one party for that yeah. startup, yeah. spent more on that party. Which would have been worth than, more than, than the what actual we have spent on R&D for 2017. Oh that God. is fucked up. Yeah, it's, it's true. Yeah. It's okay, true. that's it's just criminal. Like, we've so, got to do something about that. Yeah, so, we, yeah support yeah. the creative. Yeah, if, so, Jesus. I'm sure you have a Patreon or something. I, I tried. Oh I, 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 can we do a GoFundMe? I, can we do a GoFundMe I, I tried for Go-Go, Simon here? Like, can we do a, right. so we do a Kickstarter? I, it's so uh, important. We've got I to had do this a for, voice for oriented Simon. music streaming service that was designed around natural language and geolocation and movement and all this stuff. In 2011, it was my thesis. For fuck's sake, a 30,000 oh, word pieces. This weird and uh, I have all these amazing videos I did where I have black hair and I'm talking about it. And I, I did an Indiegogo campaign in 2011 and my mum gave me a hundred bucks. What? That's a, that's that was Johnny Cash. Cash. Funding. Do you hear yeah. Johnny Cash yeah. in the background? <laughs> Real the fire? Ring like, are you of fire. fire. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> what is happening? happening? What a great... The ring oh, of fire. Anyhow, I'm done. What I'm an occurrence. I'm, I'm good. You have fucking killed it. So, okay, so is there anything else you want to plug? <sighs> no. Is there anything else you need to say? Uh, Epic Games, I love you. NVIDIA, you guys are great. Thanks for giving us those cards to actually show yeah, that we could do something. Really. Um, capturing Reality, you guys are fantastic. Acer, thank you for the headset. HP New Zealand, thank you for the laptop. Uh, but guys, come on, get to Kevin, just give me some fucking money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make this guy, <laughs> let Tired this guy of do what You clearly believe in what yeah. we're doing. Yeah. And you clearly give us like surfing. thousands of dollars a half. Give me that Make it corporate happen. black yeah. car. Yeah. Give me that Jam. corporate yeah. black yeah. car. Amen, <laughs> brother. Amen. Amen. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> come that's, on. That's what it's all about. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyways, to wrap it up, you know, this was the Digital Asset. Please comment. Tell us what you think about what's going on. Do you think this is something that, that is worth our attention? Should we invest in this? Absolutely, I'd say. But what else is there? What are your thoughts? I mean, listen, there's a lot of, uh, we, we've talked about a lot of uh, uh, moral sort of decisions that we have to make as a people about rights, about ethical creative, considerations. Ethical well. considerations. Absolutely. No, absolutely. And I want to kind of have a deeper conversation, and that's the whole point of the show. I'm not telling you where to think and how to think. But I want to know what you think. Yeah, and okay. that's where this conversation starts, right? Go ahead and comment below. Take a hit of this digital yeah. acid. Turn Thank on. Thank you so much for signing Tune in. Come you through. guys are welcome. You guys fucking are welcome. Fucking crushing it's it. Been, it's been fantastic. And, and listen, listen. Thank you, Simon. Yeah. We are the fucking um, uh, 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 the misfits of uh, of the industry, and we're and we're crushing it. So if it, this is the, the this is the the other side of tech, the creatives where we get along, yeah, yeah. and um, starving artists. You're not gonna you're not gonna find <laughs> other shit like this yeah. anywhere else. We're doing it because yeah. we love it. You know, yeah, that's amen, what it's all amen, about. Amen. Shit. So, Keeping yeah. it real over here at the Digital yeah. Asset. Make sure you follow, tune subscribe, out. fucking Drop look this out. guy up. Stay YouTube. tuned. YouTube this guy. Find, With hit up Steam VR, the and, Digital and, and, Asset, and every and and, and virtual virtual reality. Don't reality code. virtual. See, see, I told reality you. Reality virtual. I'm dyslexic. dyslexic. People. You can't, you yeah. can't do so that. To me. I'm just, we are, we are realityvirtual.co. Reality we love that everyone thinks that we're virtual reality. Oh, say that we, again. Realityvirtual.com. Like, yeah. Realityvirtual.co. Do not get it. Dot .co. Realityvirtual.co. And actualreality.io. Actualreality.io. DeepPBR.io. Deep PBR, and it's not a beer. What it stands for... It sounds sexy, though. It does. <laughs> and I love the way you say it. The Digital Acid signing Deep out. Deep PBR. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs>